Alright, well, I guess today we're going to be continuing the third part of the custom campaign and we'll see how far we'll get. We'll see how that is going to end up, who knows. Well, time will tell. Um, was it this one? Probably. Yeah, uh, we're tasked with rebuilding a city. Um, and there were a few things about it, I can't remember exactly what it was. Uh, I think we're gonna get attacked by small parties quite quickly. We can't produce our own weapons, we have to import them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have four years to complete it. We need to get two allied cities and we have a population of 1800. We have 17k to begin with and I gotta make sure that we got an economy up and running ASAP, which I guess we can always trade with wherever we came from because we've been tasked with rebuilding Lo Lang after we left Lao Yang, which is great. But yeah, we'll probably get attacked. So let's try and establish trade routes relatively quickly, rebuild the city relatively quickly and um, I hope for the best. I need to find pretty good ground to actually build something. Um, where will we set up shop? There's copper over here, which I could exploit. Um, ooh, yeah. Where? Where? Oh, where? I wonder if this area is actually very um, isolated. It looks very isolated. This mountainside. It's a good choke point right over here. Good choke point right over there. There's only one way up and one way down. We have plenty of space to, uh... Yeah, plenty of space to set up shop. I have a good feeling about that. Let's, um... Let's get going. Oh man, we'll see how long today is gonna last. I feel like I've already been punched in the gut. Probably have, to be fair. I probably have. Okay. That's our first entry point. And this should be our second entry point. Like I said, this area is going to be quite well defended for us, which is going to be great. And apparently there is a third entry point even. Yikes. Okay, so three areas we got to defend up here. This section and that section. Uh, which means we'll probably build housing down there or up there. And the rest can be farmland. That sounds good. Okay, let's get started. Let's uh, make something out of this. Hmm. I'm still a bit skeptical, but we'll see. And then I need to figure out what my import slash export is going to be. So, real quick, what do we have available to us? I do see a hunter quay and fishing quay. That's nice. Hey, what's this? Silk? Lacquer? Oh, tell me this. Tell me this. Oh, that's right. We can make our own silk. Wait. Yes, we can make our own silk. Can we make our own lacquer? We can make our own lacquer. Holy crap. All right. That's going to make us quite a bit of cash. No, I'm actually looking at this area over here. It should have a single entry point by the looks of it. Maybe I'd be better off in this area. Yeah, maybe I am better off in that area. Hmm. But this is that single entry point I was talking about. Goes up here. And that is that. Yeah, hmm. Okay, okay. Alright, maybe I need a little bit of a change of plans. Then again, it is a bit of a way to walk around to get up here. So, let's stick with this one. I think we'll be fine. Okay, um, so yeah, on that notion, let's see if we can set something up. Yeah, today's gonna be really shitty. I can notice that. Uh, <laughs> uh, I have zero energy left. So, uh, we're gonna have to build the city awfully quick. That is the important part. We're probably gonna get beset upon by enemies quite quickly. We only have four years to complete it. Yada yada yada. It is very important to get this done as soon as possible. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and that is probably number nine. We're gonna go with our usual housing blocks, which work out quite great. I mean, these things have carried me through all the missions I can possibly think about. So surely they won't fill me now, right? Oh, that is nasty. That little guy is really nasty. Um, hmm. 
yeah. So how would it be? I think I'm gonna have to miss out on at least one. Bit unfortunate, but at least one house. Unless I were to build it like this. Mm -hmm. And then I would still miss out on the house. Okay, well, um, if that is going to be the case, then that will be the case. Not much I can do about it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for the... This setup, that looks great to me. Um, one problem I can foresee already. Uh, that is how we're gonna be f shipping food in here. I might have a little issue with my uh, market square not fitting, so maybe I'll sacrifice four houses up here. It doesn't really matter, we'll still hit our population target, which of course is the most important part, hitting the population target. But otherwise, uh, for the rest we should be fine. Okay, let's slap in the watchtower. I hope everything seems and sounds okay. I feel like my, my base is broken already. My speech is broken as well. Can talk normally. Rip. Hey, you don't like that. Okay, that's fine. Uh, eventually, we're also gonna need a herbless stall and we're gonna need an echo punch rest. Yes, that is exactly what we're gonna be needing. Um,. Let's also not forget, one of the other things I'm gonna gonna be needing is a uh, uh, ba -ba -ba, religion, there you go. Holy crap, I am slow today. Hey, there's you, Wolf. It's, we'll, we'll see how it's gonna go. I feel like I have a pretty good plan on how I want to do this mission, but with the time limit and, you know, me not being the professional at these games, it can all turn south quite quickly. Besides, my brain doesn't seem too cooperative today. It tends to happen from time to time. Where my brain just disagrees with me. Okay, so I think we have all the basic uh, setup. All we need is a tax office, and then we're good to roll out. I can't think of anything else I may or may not have forgotten, so we should be fine. I just realized I can actually exploit the inner yard. Do I want to exploit the inner yard? I mean, obviously I do want to exploit the inner yard. Let's do it. Uh, so yeah, one, one of the things that I love about this setup... Um, you can actually take advantage of this open space on the inside. Like, I think that is, that is the big win with this setup. That really is the big win. Look at that. Beautiful. And then we remove this. And the rest will come naturally. Uh, same for the ancient uh, ancestral shrine. There you go. Red residential wall and a red residential wall. Uh, if we can actually grow these to be larger, that'd be uh, perfect. We'd be set. Anyways, that's not here or now. Let's first focus on growing this uh, little city block. As I said, we probably have to sacrifice the four houses up front. Um, that is fine. I mean, that is obviously not fine, but that is just a casualty of city building. Um, sometimes you gotta cut a few corners. Oh, shit. How important is Feng Shui in this game? Um, I think good Feng Shui gives a bit better desirability compared to bad Feng Shui. I wish I could highlight it, but there are cases where some buildings... Uh, have enough desirability if there's good Feng Shui nearby, but beyond that, it is not that important at all. Um, there is a global Feng Shui tracker. Ba -ba -ba, where is it? Right here. Feng Shui Harmony. And I don't think there's any objectives that require you to have a certain amount of Feng Shui, but if there is, then I guess it's important for that. Uh, though some people try to play with good Feng Shui, uh, I sadly just can't do it. I sadly just can't do it. This really messes me up. So what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be using a small market square. Oh boy. Oh boy. But that's okay. I mean, look at this. Then we build a little residential wall over here. Uh, 
Uh, pretty much. Then again, I'm probably completely wrong about it, and if I am, feel free to yell at me, as always. It's the best way to correct me on my mistakes. Yeah, so I'm gonna need a mill. I really wish I could play this game with good uh, Feng Shui. I really do. I'm just not good enough. I always try. I always secretly want to try to be able to uh, get good Feng Shui going. And then I look around and I'm like, well, does it seem like I can do that at all? Rip. <laughs> Big rip. Um, but yeah, let's not overbuild because I notice I'm already overbuilding quite a bit. Okay. Uh, we'll get an additional inspector post. Uh, duh, 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 duh. And eventually we're going to be turning this into a circle as well. Remember how I said I'm overbuilding? Yep, apparently I'm not even stopping. Help. Um, this should be accepting both. What was it? Ceramics, there you go. And hemp, 16. Okay. Okay, alright. I think this is a pretty good setup. Overbuilding suggestion. Uh, until everything falls apart. Hey guys, how are you doing? Everything explodes and you just are gonna have to rebuild it. That is literally the worst nightmare. Ugh. Like, imagine pouring 4k into your city, only to have it collapse upon itself. Which we're gonna be seeing here in 0.5 seconds. I really did overbuild, oh boy. Um... Uh... Oh crap, they're coming all the way from over... Okay, yeah, we're boned. Hey guys. Alright. Econ economic prosperity, oh that's nice. Come on, guys. Faster. Faster. I just need a few walkers out and then we're good to go. No, 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 no. Where are you going? Where are you going? Stop that. Stop that right the hell now. Okay, that's just the granary. That's uh, not the end of the world, thankfully. Um. Yeah, just, just lost the granary. That's okay. I'm 100% okay with that. Okay, so this is our initial setup. Uh, there's many ways I could have probably done this different. Um, in hindsight, I'm kind of reflecting already <laughs> for my next attempt, obviously. Um, yeah, maybe I should have built it a bit more down, centralized, but then this rock will have been in the way. I think building it here would have been ideal. Yeah, let's think about it. Um, this is what we're settling for. Great. Anyways, let's get two Hunter Huts. They can already start doing the good jobs. The good works. The hunting and the grunting. I don't particularly like the circle, but let's not think about it. I'll fix it later. I'll fix it in post-process. Don't worry about it. And now it's time that we set up some farms. So... Virtually speaking, I'm gonna need at least four different farms. Two or three for food types and one for hemp. Though preferably I'd rather get two for hemp's. So I think this area down here is perfect for a hemp farm. And yeah, we'll get some regular farms in this area. That <laughs> looks like a rectangle. That's what I was going for. Even though rectangles aren't that useful. Prefer my squares. One, two, three, and then another one, two, and three. Yeah, so I think the real thing I should be worried about is being efficient during this mission. I'm Again, I'm not the most efficient person out there. Um, I'm all about anti-proficiency. Speaking about that... I don't know, I kind of don't want to give them cash. There is some nice copper over here. Uh, there are some trees. 
factories over there. I'm trying to figure out where I can set up a wood shopping industry. Maybe in the ruins of our old city. That's another possibility. There's also some salt mines in case I want to get salty. Yeah, that's always kind of the tough part for me, trying to plan ahead. I don't tend to plan at all. I think this area is uh, pretty safe to say that we're going to be exploiting it. Um, I think I can keep it well defended if I want to. Uh, there's only two ways to get near it. The first one is from up top, so we can block this off. We can even block all of this off. And the second one is down here, and if we can block it, then the enemy can simply destroy it. Okay. Well, anyways, uh, yeah, so I kind of want to have some wood laying around, which I can use to send to the gods, you know. Send them, uh, send them my wood, that usually makes them quite happy. Somehow. And if I decide to make lacquerware, I'm kind of 50-50 about the lacquerware, but if I do decide to make lacquerware, um, I am also going to be needing some wood for that. Yeah, the main concern that I have is just the time limit. If I can survive the time limit... Uh, Holy crap. If I can survive the time limit, I can survive this mission. Wow. Like I said, today, it's there is something wrong with me. More, more so than usual. Um, more so than usual. And we will only be accepting wood. Ba -ba -ba -ba. There you go. Right, we're down to 12k. Um, Nothing to be concerned about. So how did it go again? I do believe um, if I were to go down here, we can combine soybeans with rice, right? Was it rice? Uh, soybean with cabbage. You may be Chinese god of whatever the fuck, see people rebuilding an old city, suggest they worship you. They do good times, they offer you a gift, it's a bunch of food and planks. <laughs> ah, perfect. Oh man. I can just imagine there is this village with like 10 people and all of a sudden 50 gods come towards that village like, Oh, well, you better make sacrifices to me, otherwise I'll be very upset and I'll just flood you. Because literally that's what happens. Um, you have like 20 gods to send upon you demanding gifts. <laughs> Yikes. Um, okay. Um, if I were to go to the help, I recently actually figured this out. I feel really dumb saying this. Oh, not that. Breakaway Games. Well, congratulations, Breakaway Games. Table of Contents. If we go to Fields. Was it Fields or was it Food Production? It was Fields. Yeah, so here we can see that soybean is harvested, uh, planted in May and harvested in d uh, September. And cabbage is planted in August, so soybean and cabbage can be combined, and I believe millet and wheat can be combined as well. July and November, and this is March, July, by the bush. It's always good to know where you stand. Always good to know where you stand. And we have cabbage. Good old cabbages. Good old cabbages, yep. I mean, I can always set up a irrigation ditch. I just don't think I really need it. I don't know, I would feel like irrigation is an afterthought, unless you're in the desert. In which case, it is basically a necessity. These the gods actually do good things. Uh, yeah, yeah, they do fantastic things. It's it's actually pretty frustrating because if gods like you, they'll come to your city, but their favor towards you will drop quicker. So if you make a god be favorable towards you, it just means they want a new sacrifice way more quickly. What the hell did I do here? Uh, thanks, brain. 10 out of 10. Holy crap, how did I miss that? Anyways, there you go. That is my food production, and preferably I will build a second set of farms, but we'll get back to that here in a bit. 
Uh, farms aren't the cheapest. Employ employment wise. Yeah, they're definitely not the cheapest employment wise. Hate it. Okay, now if I'm clever, let's see, next harvest is in September, which means these things are supposed to be planted. I guess I can have them do their thing. I definitely need a lot more people. I definitely need a lot more people. Ooh, fish, perfect. Ceramics, perfect. Racks of weapons. That is something I'm going to have to deal with as soon as possible as well. Uh, we won't be able to domestically produce weapons. We have to import it. And that's where things are going to get very expensive very quickly. Doesn't the last farm have more space for farmland? Yes, that is correct. Um, I, for some weird reason, I've been playing this game that I believe that a hemp farm can support more than a 2x2 two two setup. So if they have more than a 2x2 two two tile surrounding them. Uh, let's see if I can actually show that. Come on, get over here. But I believe that their maximum uh, usefulness is basically this. I put an additional circle around it. At the moment, but I believe it's 2x2. Two two. Anything more than that and they won't be able to fully uh, work the field. So by the time they've... Uh, irrigated? Planted? All the squares they're already gonna harvest. Which is a bit of a waste of manpower, in my opinion. But that is just a conclusion I came up with myself, which might 100% be incorrect. Um, this thing has been disabled. The farm should be running. Where the fuck are you guys going? Oh, right. Um, weapons, weapons, weapons. Weapons of mass destruction. still better to have too much than too little. I think the problem is, um, if they run out of tiles to uh, plant, they'll try to tend to the things they already planted, which improves their growth, uh, growth speed. So basically I get more hemp for my buck, but again, this is just my assumption. I'll probably need to make 3x3s. Three I've been meaning to test it out to see if I was right or not. Never got around to it. Maybe this time we test it out. Right, weapons. weapons. Um, I don't think I should have weapons here. I think I probably should be stockpiling weapons in this particular area. Because then I can simply build a few military forts. Whereas if I build military forts up here, there is... Um, all, all of the space is quite valuable. Yeah, that's how we're gonna do it, I guess. Wow, okay. Um, Weapon, weapon, weapon. There we go. Weapons. Right, that takes care of our weapons. Um, I'm gonna send a little gift to... Every single time I say that, I actually wanna send wood to uh, conserve a bit of cash. But, yeah, let's quickly try this out. I'm gonna be saving the game. Here we go. Saved. Uh, I'd like to go back to main menu. Ah, oh, shit. That's not the main menu. Uh, God dang it, give me a second. I think it's time that I actually should try this out. I've said it like 700 times. It's time to put it to test. Put it to the test. Uh, so yeah, what I'm looking for is just a single player campaign. We're gonna be playing this. Open play. Uh, whatever. We'll go with Steel Age. It's super easy. All of that doesn't matter. All of this doesn't matter. None. Okay. Bingo, 45k. Alright, so we're on a tiny map. It's time to try this out. So first of all, one of the things we're going to be needing is... Uh, people. Uh, you know, you can't have a city without people, so let's quickly get some people in here. And once I have enough jobs flowing, then we can uh, try out the little farming things. And since I am not on a time limit, I don't have much to worry about. 
It's really insane that I haven't actually done this before. It's actually really easy. Get okay, a herbalist stall, acupuncturist. I'm gonna make this as quickly as we can, so don't expect anything neat to pop up. This is all about uh, squeezing in as many houses as I can. Once we are positive on the people, um, yeah, I'll slap down those farms. Employees needed, that's what I like to hear. Oh boy. Sure know how to play this game. Go. And then we do it again. Ah, ba 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 ba. Open for the market people. Do I have access by any chance to uh, fishing quest? Yes, I do. This will be quicker. I mean, more expensive on the manpower, but it will be quicker. Okay. I'm very glad that we just have a crap ton of cash to spend, which means I can actually build quite rapidly. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Then I need a granary. Perfect. And of course, we're also going to need a few uh, shops. Let's go in belly. Okay. Okay, next up they want food. Food incoming. Oh right, they also probably want a little bit of religion, don't they? Uh, they're a, they are a religious bunch, I tell you. Religion, religion, religion. Let's go. Okay, here we go. And religious services. Done. There we go, look at that. Bing. Alright, so we have some decent unemployment. So I think what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to set up three hemp farms. Well, actually, let's set up two hemp farms. Both of them are going to have a road. Both of them are going to have a warehouse. Of course, we're going to make sure the warehouses don't implode, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? And the first set over here is going to have a 3x3 three three setup. And the second one is going to have a 2x2. Two two. I guess I should have a third farm that has a hybrid in between. When I say hybrid, what I'm actually uh, trying to say is... I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> no, what I actually do mean with hybrid is... Not a 2x2, two two, not a 3x3, three three, but somewhere in between. Oh god, hmm. Actually, I would need a... Uh, I would need another test case. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Uh... Oh, that's gonna be interesting. <laughs> I don't want you guys to devolve, so here you go. Alright, now I'm actually very curious what will be the most optimal setup. Okay, that's a 2x2, two two, and there we go. There we have it. Um, as you can see, no unemployment, which is quite nice. Or at least no uh, no severe issues. So we're going to see whoever is going to be producing the most... Um, whoever is going to be producing the most hemp. Of course, that requires me to wait until hemp season. Uh, for now, we're gonna probably be building a few farms as well here. A, I need to get rid of some jobs, and B, I'm gonna make sure these people don't leave. That would impact me quite severely if they did decide to leave. Like, imagine if they decided to bug out in the middle of the experiment. That would mess everything up. 
be so sad. There we go. I'm actually very excited for this. I can't believe I haven't done this before. Um, I swear to God, if I say that one more time, I'm gonna, I'm gonna scream. But yeah. So, oh, jeez, look how many people we have. I'm gonna remove some houses. I'm definitely gonna remove some houses. They also take up more food, and as you can see, we're kind of low on food at the moment. Alright guys, let's uh, kick this off. So harvest season, uh, sorry, sowing season begins in April. We're almost there. Sowing season. So we have a 3x3, three three, we have a 2x2, two two, we have a 3x2, three and we have a 3x3 three three minus one entire row. As you can see, they're irrigating all the parts of the field, or they're showing all the parts of the field, and once they're done, they kind of redo the same parts again. I hope a dragon eats him. Okay, well, I kind of didn't consider that part, now did I? Well, that's embarrassing. Yowzers. <laughs> I kind of didn't consider that, oops. Okay, here we go. Uh, Badabush. Done. Alrighty. As you can see, it is currently June and they've only uh, roughly about irrigated half the field. These guys are almost done. These guys are almost done as well. They're actually doing pretty well. Production is 50% completed. Keep in mind that harvest season is in September. Yeah, it's a quote from the Kicked Out Citizens. They have fantastic quotes, uh, some of them. If only I had a cure for mass unemployment. If only I had a cure for mass unemployment. I think we all would like oh, that. Oh, this city has the foundation to be successful. Alright. Oh yeah, here we go. Uh, harvest season should start in September. So most of the farms are doing pretty well. I notice a lot of uh, slow growing ones here. 25. Same down here, but these guys are doing pretty fine. Alright. Time for the verdict. Oh, actually the 3x3 is growing quite nicely. Look at that. I stand corrected. Yeah, I must say it looks like, uh, looks like the 3x3 is doing pretty well. But then comes harvest season. Whoa, hold on. Okay. Okay. Please tell me you can deliver this. Please tell me you can deliver this. I, I beg of you. Nope. Okay. We're gonna have to connect them to the main road. So this experiment is already uh, falling apart at the seams. Actually, no, that's not true. I shall just get creative. Did you forget to tell them to accept stuff? They should accept it by default. The problem is, they are treating the circle as the main entrance to the warehouse. So they're saying like, oh, I can't actually reach the main entrance uh, to the warehouse. There we go. So I can't deliver my stuff, but this should uh, fix that. There we go. Well, here's the verdict. Um, it looks like 3x3s have actually won. There you go. I stand very much corrected. I stand very, very corrected. <laughs> okay, so the 2x2 has produced 1,000 hemp. The 3x3 has produced 1,800. Um, the 3x2, 1,400, and this should be 50. There you go. Oh, and there's still a little bit left as well. 16. <laughs> So I do notice a very interesting pattern. There's 800 difference. One row is probably roughly about 200. So this is uh, 200, 400, 1600, 1800. But yeah, so 3x3 three three is the way to go. I stand corrected. Now that we know. Um, ah shit, new game, new game. That's what I'm supposed to click. Yeah, there you go. Uh, so now that we know that, let's uh, return back to our custom campaign and fix my stupidity. 
I can't believe I've been playing this game for so long doing something that stupid and misleading people about it. Oh my god, that is embarrassing. But yeah, 3x3. Three three. Beautiful. All that potential uh, hemp I've missed out on. Okay. I do hope that... This place can quickly grow soon enough. Alright, so they need water to evolve, which they're finally getting. Took them long enough. Okay, we also just got hemp. Uh, we're gonna be kickstarting this entire damn thing. Oh boy, this is this is gonna be a bit uh, antsy for me. Um, I'm very worried things might fall apart. Should, leave reli uh, should let religious people through as well. Oh. No, 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 no. I built the wrong building. Okay. Um, once everything is up and running. Soon, TM. Yeah, Ancestral Shrine. Ancestral Shrine is coming up. I, I need to accept the gift of uh, gift of bolts. That is very important. Tilk, there we go. Where is my religious person? There she is. Yeah, so this is gonna free uh, free up so many additional people who can enter our city, and it's only gonna grow and grow. Uh, yeah, the first harvest season is going to be pretty bad. A bit unfortunate, but it is what it is. Uh, let's actually get a second hemp farm. I want to make sure we never run out of hemp. I think running out of hemp is probably one of the more dangerous things. Uh, because it can pretty much cripple you quite aggressively throughout the year. Because you can only get hemp once a year, so it's safe if you grow it yourself. There we go, 3x3. Three um, we have four different types of food that might also become an issue in the near future, but let's not focus on that. I need more people. Uh, once we have enabled the administrative city, we can also build our military installations. I am going to run out of food as a side note. Come on guys, we can do this. And we're out of food. Come on. Keep them coming. Keep people coming as quickly as we can. We only have 39 months left to complete this. Population target shouldn't be too bad. Allied cities should be a bit more difficult. We're gonna give this person, uh, the city, a little bit of wood. I need to establish trade routes with our uh, old capital. Bingo. This is what I was aiming for. And there comes the first invasion. Okay. Um, I think it's time that we switch to defensive warfare. It's going to be interesting. Very interesting. Please tell me this fits. It fits. Excellent. So yeah, uh, we're going to basically hold or choke points with defensive walls. Uh, okay, I need to enable. I need to enable this, and we need to get soldiers. If I don't get soldiers, we're automatically defeated. And <laughs> but don't want that, right? Don't want that, oh boy. Imagine not even being able to defend myself. How embarrassing will that be? All right, come on, crossbowman, let's go. Hmm. Oh well, screw Feng Shui. Said before, and I will say it again: screw Feng Shui. Okay, so we are out of hemp. Notice how hemp season has finally finished, and uh, we're out of hemp. Guess what's gonna come next? That's right, the evolution. Oh boy. Huh. 
There is many, many ways I could have done this different in hindsight. Just, just a few thoughts. Uh, Kashar can go screw itself. Kashar won't invade me, so... There's just a few thoughts. I could have tried to skim a bit on my warehouses that I built, because I've built like three warehouses and three of them are currently empty. And I don't know, I could have probably disabled a few farms. Yeah, I'm, I'm very uncomfortable at the moment. Very uncomfortable. Again, like I said, hemp is going to be the killer here. Okay, um, we now have actual money flowing in. I'd like to get a third farm on the go. There we go. This is going to produce me some soybeans. It is important that we get a little bit of overflow going in cabbage. Okay. Farm city has been established. They need plant food. It's the hemp I'm mostly worried about. Okay. Um, I did send wood to Lang Yang. Uh, we're going to be trading with them. They probably want to buy silk. If I had to guess, they most definitely probably want to buy silk. <laughs> One way of phrasing it. Did it say it will devolve? It cannot evolve unless it delivers some hemp. Okay, we're fine. Alright. They need raw silk and lacquer. That's not really what I was expecting. Uh-oh. I need somebody who wants to buy silk. Alright, my hemp farms are... Uh, kicking it off, they're in full gear. Alright, so I know that I'm going to be producing silk and selling silk, so we might as well start setting up uh, or a little silk industry for that as well. Um, oh, you know what I should have done? I feel stupid now. You know what I should have done? Let's first save it. I should have done a similar test for um, silk. Or raw silk, so that's what we're going to be doing. I've said that I've been wanting to do that as well, like one billion times over. Might as well get it done. Might as well get it done. I should have done these tests, like, literally just 10,000 years ago. So embarrassing. Alright, we'll see how this goes. There we go. Um... I don't know how many we are building, as long as it's enough to make people happy. We're gonna feed them some food, we're gonna make them uh, be cheerful and merry. But yeah... I feel like I actually have a lot of uh, common misconceptions about efficiency in this game. Like I said, I'm, I'm terrible. I'm truly terrible at this game. Don't expect any more or any less from me, besides the bare minimum. <laughs> Ah, oh, great. I hate this map layout already. I hate this map layout already. Ooh, cool, 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 cool. Okay, um, yes, so. Uh, common market. Another secondary red wall real quick. Only let food vendors through. Perfect. Gonna make sure that somebody's actually guarding the stuff. Since we're not on the time limit, I might as well just uh, take my sweetest time with this. So I'm actually going to need a lot of these farms. Okay, so it looks like we don't have access to... Uh, we don't have access to... Hunting quays. Uh, uh, sorry, fishing quays. 
Why did I say hunting quest? What's wrong with me? What is wrong with me? Okay. And we get some cabbage in here. Millet. Like I said, I'm just slapping stuff down. It's gonna look hideous. Hunting <laughs> thing. Hey, it's been done before. I'm sure we can do it as well. I'm sure we can do it as well. Okay. I don't like this farm. We're gonna remove it. Okay. Mm -hmm. I am missing something. Ancestral Shrine. Let's go. Food shop. Ooh, a trading station with Kashar. That's quick. Um, herbalist. We already have a herbalist. We have acupuncturist. Usually I have six uh, six buildings. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is six buildings. Fantastic. Oh, uh, do I have access? Oh dear God! Thank God I have access to silkworm. So yeah, this is going to be the general uh, test I want to do, as always. Tea curing. Ha, cute. I guess we can also do it for tea curing, but I think if this uh, turns out that three by three is more efficient than two by two. I think then I will say that the same goes for the T. And we won't actually test it. Why am I doing this? So this is going to be the 3x3. Three three, and that's going to be the 2x2. Two two. And all I need to do is figure out if they produce more or less raw silk. I'm going to assume the answer is they produce more a 3x3 three three than a 2x2, two two, but you never know. You never know. Anyways, this month is not that uh, indicative. Alright, let's uh, refresh that. I don't even know why I started food farms. I could have just had Camp City. Considered it a win. Considered it a win. Uh, the city does not have enough food because I forgot to build a mill. That's cute. There we go. Look at that. Oh, delicious. Everybody agrees. Alright, here we go. I've had so many misconceptions. It's actually pretty embarrassing. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. 700 and 700. What? Wait, hold on. What? <laughs> no way. No way. No, 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 no. So a 2x2 two two does make more sense there. Hmm. Let's try out a few different uh, variants in that case. Variants, sorry. Thanks, Brian. Let's try out a few different variants. And we're gonna try to do this again afresh. So let's say I have something really dumb like a one by one. Now things are getting a bit more interesting. Mm -hmm. That means that the tea curing might be inconclusive as well, but I'll follow the same principle. Okay. So, uh, we have a 2x2, two 3x3. Two, three three. Let's actually uh, set up a warehouse. We have a 2x2, two two, a 3x3, three three, a 1x3, a 1x2. And a 1x1, one one. and I think the 1x1 one one is going to have awful performance. But I'm kind of curious about the 1x2. I feel like 700 was definitely below the uh, bare minimum. People call you the greatest ruler in history. Oh, oh, they must really like my experiments. One thing that stood out to me is that they made very early... Um, They made very early deliveries. Oh, 
All right. Okay, so here's my conclusion. 900 raw silk, 900, 800. I'm quite interested in this. 800 and this should be 600. All right. Um, let's say that I get rid of these things. And we'll try it again. I'm trying out a few different combinations. You know, curiosity and all that. I do find it interesting that this thing produced 700 silk. Look how small it is. So let's use a basic rule of thumb here. Um, if this produces 700... Two of them, in this particular pattern, should produce 1400 of them. I mean, right? I, I know how to do math. Because I also have this common misconception. I I'd like to call it a common misconception. I do honestly believe that I'm actually wrong about most of the things that I'm uh, spouting out. But I also have this common misconception that if you combine two of them together, they're more efficient. If there's a bit of overlap. But it's usually because I'm using like 2x2s two and 3x3s. Three, uh, three and I know those are a bit too large, as you could see. 700, 800, 900, and 900. I feel like this should have been a 1000. Hmm. Alright, calling me surprised. What is it going to be? What is it going to be? Alright, everybody. Deliver your silk. Uh, let's count them. 900 again. 900 again. 700. No, actually 800. Hold on. 800 again. And that's 1300. That's interesting, because that means that this silk farm actually did a bit worse. I'm tempted to say it simply just flaked. You know, these things happen. Just flaking, just bad luck. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, my curiosity is kicking off in full gear. Um... <laughs> and help. So that is this 2x2 in the back. And then two more, so that kind of balances out. Okay, uh, there's something else I'm kind of curious about. Does that make a difference? Uh, oh, I'm doing such silly tests. But it looks like a lot of those results uh, from the larger farms are very consistent. They keep rolling a 900. 900, 900. So there is no difference between a 2x2 and a 1x1. Or a 2x2 and a 2x3. Or 3 by 3 for that matter. And a 1 by 2 gives me 800. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's 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 see. Let's see how this goes. Just gotta divide it by 2. Price decrease for T. Alright, and that is that. Let's uh, let's count them once again. Still 900. Still 900. Uh, this is 1500 divided by 2. It looks like we went from... Um, it looks like we went from 800 to 750. Is this the same surface? 
Huh. Oh well. Um, I think for what we're going to be doing is we're probably going to be using a combination of a 1x2. That seems the most efficient to me. Like, this is nice. It gives you 900... Well, 2x2. Two two. Let's stick with the 2x2. Two two. Cool! Hey, look at that! I'm actually right about something. Alright, let's actually go back to our custom ca campaign and play for real. Uh, there's still plenty of uh, stuff I need to do. But yeah, 2x2 uh, two two actually um, does make sense for once. That's cool. 1, 2... 1, 2, 1, 2... Wait, 1, 2, 1, 2... And then we get a second silkworm. There we go. I'm actually kind of happy. It sounds really weird. I'm actually kind of happy about that. Nothing makes me happier than uh, hearing you're right. Because <laughs> I never hear it at all. I'm always wrong. That's right, my guys. Get me, uh, get me some of the raw silk. Uh, that's a lacquer refinery. I don't particularly care about that. One. Oh god, what am I doing? Hold on, what am I doing? One, two. One, two. There we go. <laughs> it's hideous. But I'll take it. We pull this red residential wall all the way through, all the way up here. And then we get those lacquer farms. Uh, sorry, not lacquer farms, uh, mulberry farms. Employees needed. That's okay. Um, next stop is we're gonna need to produce our own silk. Which is what we're eventually going to be exporting. Uh, ba -ba -ba. First things first, obviously. I gotta be very mindful of my money at the moment. I gotta be very mindful of my cash. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think six should suffice. What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> uh, what the fuck am I doing? Uh, that's a really good question that I should be asking myself right now. What the hell is this? This is awful. Why did I think this was a good idea? What's wrong with me? Anyways, ta-da! Wave hands, look at that. This is gonna be nasty. Uh, less stuff for the military. How's my military holding up? Okay, we have a little army, perfect. So yeah, I have 5k to, or 5.7k to spend on defenses, which I'm quite happy about. Uh, soon we'll have enough population. We're down to 32 months, which means that I have 32 months to find friends. If I can get silk rolling, then we can... Oh. Okay, well that's not great. That's not great at all. Ah, thank you. But yeah, if I can um, get money rolling... I knew it. I knew those bastards would attack exactly where my defenses aren't. Alright. Time to scaffold the wall real quick. I was kind of hoping they would attack from the north or from the south even potentially. Because it's better defendable for me. Instead they decided to attack literally the one place that has the most uh, wall spin that will be needed. Of course they would. Well... There's my gate.
One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Okay, um, I'm gonna need a few towers. Oh my god, I am definitely gonna need a few towers. Okay, uh, nothing to be concerned about, citizen. Carry on. Um, I'm gonna turn off the silk industry for now. Raw silk needs to keep flowing, and wood industry can be turned off as well. Oh boy, hope this will do the trick. One of these days... China is going to run out of trees. Yes, China will run out of trees. Hey, you leave that alone. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you mean he's attacking me? Uh oh, guys, I might have fucked up. I might have fucked up big time. I might have fucked up big time. Why are you not extinguishing this? Why are you. A freaking sadist. Stop that. Okay, well... I've, oh, there. Yeah, this is this is really bad. This is incredibly bad. I did not realize there was a tiny gap. I've been bamboozled. Okay. Uh, Jiangxi produces silk? Is it Zhang Zhao that maybe wants it? Somebody wants silk, I'm 100% certain of it. I just gotta find out who that guy is. Okay. Uh, are, yeah, invasion forces defeated. Beautiful. Uh, Alright, well... Let's figure out what the hell went wrong over here. There's some trees that were blocking me, apparently. Well, that's embarrassing. I'm actually very glad they didn't all just uh, try to exploit that. Oh? Uh... Oh! Oh, that could have backfired pretty badly. I didn't even notice that. Okay. Perfect. You know, if I can quickly set up, uh, get two allies going, we should be fine as well. Hmm. Ah, let the hemp flow, as they say. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Price increase for wood. Uh, that's a good thing, because we technically speaking domestically produce it. Could always sell it if I wanted to. Uh oh. Let's uh let's get this going as well. It's not as super effective, but that's fine. Baby steps, right? So what are you guys missing? You're missing music. Let's get some music in there. Let's get some song and play. Okay. Um. Okay. 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 All right. Here we go. Oh my God! So many people are needed. You know, I'm actually missing a warehouse that tends to stock overflow food. Let's take care of that as well. Um, I'm also going to get rid of the... Um, uh, 12, by the way. No, 8. 8, 8, 8. There you go. 8 a pop. I'm also going to get rid of the game meat. I don't really need it. It's very expensive on the jobs. And it doesn't produce as much food as the other stuff. So the game meats are kind of... You know, they're out. Bye-bye. And that should free up 45 jobs. That's basically like two entire farms, you know, just to let it sink in how much it actually is. Two entire freaking farms. And now I can also fix that circle that I really messed up earlier. <laughs> Yay, it's been fixed. Woohoo. Yeah, with a little bit of luck we can establish trade routes with Young Zell and then the rest should be... Oh god, hi. Seriously? Same place again? Alright. 
It's what it is, as they say. It is what it is. Did I really just lose? Yeah, I lost two crossbowmen earlier. Hmm. Okay, this time we're well defended. I feel like I need just a little bit of extra security here in the back. There we go. Now I'm feeling safe. Well, it's nice to attacking the same spot. It means I don't have to build like seven different places where... Uh, where there will be walls and the likes. But boy, I really do hope they won't punch through my gate. That will be very bad. Ah, we're done. Economic prosperity at Chang'an. Ah, Yang Zhao has thanked us for... Oh, who, who needs silk? Which of you bastards needs silk? I know there is somebody who desperately wants silk. Who is the guy? It's always the same with these people. Come on, guys. I have plenty of freaking silk to offer. Please, I beg of you. Okay, there you go. Invasion force is defeated. Yay! Woohoo! Um, yeah, so let's not bend the towers. Let's go back to our industry. Re-enable them. Uh, we'll produce some silk. Once I can sell silk to people, they'll be happy. If that's not going to be a possibility, um, I'll probably have to tear down my uh, silk production and just simply rely on domestically produced uh, raw silk. Yay! Domestically produced. Woohoo! Uh, we're gonna hit our population target with only 800 more people to go and 800 free houses. It seems like a no-brainer. Plenty of food. Um, one thing that I am severely lacking, I just realized, is ceramics. So, um, yeah, there you go. Uh, of course, there must be something that I had to screw up, but it's not the end of the world. At least I noticed it before everything came tumbling down. God, I'm, I'm gonna have to squeeze everything in I can. Let's do it. Uh-huh. Can I squeeze in four kill makers? I mean, I caught in the back. It'd be beautiful if I could squeeze in six of them. Yeah, screw it, let's do it. And always export it if need be. I can always export if need be. Um, yeah, I'm actually kind of happy. Uh, this place looks like a crap hole, but it is my crap hole. I'm not happy anymore, actually. Son of a gun. How, how am I actually going to get people to patrol this? Hmm. It was in that moment where he realized he fucked up pretty badly. Damn. Let's get rid of the music school, uh, the acrobat school, rebuild it somewhere else. I actually thought he would have been happy being there. Chengdu greets the world. Happy New Year, I'll do it. But yeah, we are almost out of uh, cash. I've almost burned through all my cash reserves, so... Yeah, it's kind of make it or break it. If that doesn't do the trick, then I'm gonna have to uh, probably hit up Long Young and start selling them some raw silk. Which, by the way, oh my god, you want spices for me? Um, open trade. They produce weapons, which I desperately need. Oh my god, um... I might be producing just a few too many, um... Oop. I might produ be producing just a few too many houses. High quality houses nonetheless. <laughs> so funny, right? Oh boy. Do I have access to a papermaker? I should. Yes, yes I do. Make me some paper. 
Take me some paper money. Uh, I'm gonna get attacked like three times over again. Uh, the important part is... I think we're really close to beating this. All I gotta do is get the people and the allied city. Allied cities. The people are on their way and allied cities I can just basically just throw a bunch of things at them. And everybody will be fine and happy. Though I did wish I was producing a bit more silk. Long Yao demands raw silk. Why are you so disrespectful to me, pal? Eight months to comply. Oh, we will be fine, I'm sure of it. Hey, um... What else does this guy want? He wants wheat, right? Lacquer, rice and spices. I don't have any of that. Ying Yang, my friend. That is the guy we need to sell so um, silk to. That's it. Found him. Uh, we'll give him a small gift of bold silks to uh, really seal the deal. God, I hate this. I really hate how this looks. It is so damn hideous. I'm scared. I'm very, very scared. I'm about to go broke. What's the matter with you? Do you have brains of a yak? Uh... Didn't you say like... Yeah, there you go. I have like six months to comply. Shut up. He's respectful to me at the moment, so that uh, does tend, help, uh, tend to help out a bit. I've called... I could have built this thing right over there. Hmm. Oh! Oh my, that's perfect. Alright. Get out of there. Shoo. Be gone. <laughs> it's just about. Uh, yeah, I'd like to sell some raw silk. Never stockpile more than six. And I will eventually need to import weapons, but we're not quite there yet. Also, if they decide to attack me from a different angle than they usually attack me, I'm boned. I'd rather not think about that. And they're gonna attack me from a different angle than they usually attack me from. I'm gonna be so boned. Come on, I gotta be collecting taxes by now, right? Yes, yes I am. That should offset some of my losses. Um, I quickly want to be able to... There you go. Wait, who actually wants to buy wood? Is there somebody who really... <gasps> he loves to buy wood. Holy crap, have 16 stacks of it. That is 100% the trade agreement. Why do I keep running out of food? I really assumed that food-wise I'd be covered by now. Open trade with the city. He should say yes. But yeah, um, cash-wise I'm not doing too great. Come on. Come on. Okay, that's enough. You do not have enough to fulfill this request. What are you talking about? He wants three, right? Or was it six? Wait, two in storage? Oh god, that is two. Okay, here we go. I'm sure he'll, uh, he'll appreciate that. Aww. Thank you, I appreciate it. Okay. Okay, so here we go. We're being attacked from the same angle again. I'm very grateful for that. Uh, we're gonna man or weapons. We are gonna turn or ceramic? How much ceramic do I have in backup? Yeah, we're gonna disable both or clay pits and ceramic. Okay. The 
towers will be manned. And hopefully we won't die. It's a rather small attack party, so... Um, yeah, we should be fine, right? Also, I probably should actually have a few wall segments over here. Hey, we're even in the positive. Positive cash flow. Wait, oh yeah, because, you know, somebody built me out. In this moment, I have realized I might have a tiny problem. Ooh. <laughs> oh boy. Um, hmm. Well, let's uh, let's not die, shall we? Shit. I kind of forgot about this little. Uh, I I remember pointing it out like, oh, there was three entryways, but I completely forgot about it already. Oh, you know what they say, right? I have the memory of a freaking goldfish. That's what. Oh, remember how we got build out and we had a positive cash flow? Yeah, that's gone. Bye bye, positive cash flow. Bye bye, positive cash flow. Uh... Rip. Well, at least uh, I responded in time to actually set up my defenses. Okay, we connect this with the main road, and what bam! Just want to make sure that I didn't miss any magical trees. Don't want them sneaking past my lines again. The towers are being manned. Unemployment will skyrocket, but it is being handled. I need these guys up here. And they take the dumb path. Oh boy. Actually, I do wonder if I can sneak up behind them and start shooting them. Hell, I wonder if I can even stand over here and shoot them. Employees need it. That's okay. Lung Yao yeah, regards you more highly. Do not blast through that gate, I swear to god, if you break through that gate, I will be dead. That's right, get him. Wait, does that mean we just had- <gasps> Why are we dev devolving? Um, okay, okay, okay. I think I might actually need a second food store. I think we're just burning through our food too quickly. I feel like my uh, beans are, by the way, pretty overpowered. I have way too many beans. Okay, there you go. We won once again. Let's stockpile that. Price decrease for Rose Hill? Oh no. Uh. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh boy. Remember how I said, like, population-wise we're gonna be A-OK? -okay? Uh... I, uh, I kinda wanna take that back. Doesn't feel like it anymore. Great with Jing Yang opens up! Excellent! That is my moneymaker right there. That's what's gonna ruin the big bucks. Because we can sell to him ceramics, wood, and silk. Especially silk is what I'm interested in. Yeah, that's gonna be my big moneymaker. Any cuts who wanna rip off my head at the moment? Yeah, there's a few of them. Um, as long as they feel neglected, I guess we're gonna be fine. Okay. Come on, I need that trade caravan. I needed it yesterday. I 
I do believe, I genuinely do believe we can make it. But it all really depends on the next step. Oh my god, 12 months for that. We're so fucking dead. It's over. It's all over. Uh, agreeable. Um, I'm, I'm actually panicking. You, you don't want hemp. You don't want hemp either. But you, you, mm, you'd love some raw silk. I don't have any raw silk for you. We're dead. Apathetic, apathetic, apathetic. Oh, yo, 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 if I can keep these houses stable, I might be able to lure in 400 people to join us. As you can see, there is a large stream of people coming my way. Uh, so that might actually help out, by the way. Notice the trade caravan right over here. Come on. Oh yes, 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 yes. Buy it, buy it, buy it all. No! We're not even in the positives yet. Damn! I need an alliance with Lang Yao as well, and that is going to be a bit more tough, because the guy's not too happy with me. Oh god, how am I going to do this? How am I going to do this? I need, I need to... I need to basically appease him right now. I send him 16 bolts of silk. I'll be all out of silk myself. And I need that silk. I need that silk badly. I can attempt to export more ceramics, but if I remember correctly, this industry hasn't been enabled yet. Which means that I might actually have another collapse coming up. Uh-oh. But yeah, um... I'll send a millet, cabbages, and eight silk. That sounds fair. Um... Millet, cabbages, more wood, eight silk, Z Zing Zen conquers the Zion new empire. Wow, okay, I did not see that coming from miles away, surprisingly enough. Yeah, so it's really just those those two last uh, alliances, I gotta ask. If I can actually establish them in time, um, I'm sure we're gonna survive. If not, it's just GG. Look at that. 1700 people are still flowing into the city. Room for 1200 more people. And they attack literally. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, 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 okay. Like, this is the last assault I got to survive. And this is gonna cost me all the cash I have. And I really hate that, because if I lose too much money, people are gonna leave my city. But, um... Yeah, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to deal with it some way or another. So let's get it over with. We're gonna set up a double gate. Yeah, we're gonna set up a double gate, matter of fact. Uh, there you go. Make sure that we have enough uh, other stuff laying about. It's the towers. It is really the towers that's gonna be the big money drain here. Oh boy. Um, I am actually legitimately concerned about this attack. Um, my units are quite far and they won't be able to instantly support it. Um, I'm financially just committing suicide. Always funny. Um, but worst part of all is... I don't know if we can survive a double attack. I don't know if we can survive a double attack. Yeah, that's not too shabby. 
Uh, what are we gonna disable in the meantime? Uh, looking at the amount of hemp we have, I guess I can disable some hemp farms. I'd like to keep producing ceramics because we're very low on ceramics. I guess I can turn off my uh, wood production. Yeah, it's a double attack. They're probably gonna burst through both of the walls, which means that we have to fight at the top. You guys are equipped, right? Yeah. Um, this is like a billion times worse. Hold on. I think they're planning to attack me in the back. Uh, come on, you little bastards. Don't be like that. Ay ay ay, okay. Well, at least I caught wind of it before, uh, before they stormed the gates, so to say. Alrighty, um, we at least made or uh, oh boy, remember what I said about going bankrupt? <laughs> it's gonna happen, isn't it? But yeah, at least we got our population target, so as long as there is no devolution, I should, relatively speaking, be fine. Oh god, this is going to be so expensive on my uh, employees. There is no other secret path that I've missed, right? No, that that's it. So at least our archers kind of died off. Yeah, price decrease for silk. Ying Yang has become an ally. Oh, just need one more allied city and we're good to go. And of course, I could make do with selling a bit more silk, but we'll get there. Yeah, so both their uh, archery units are being killed. And then we gotta kill those guys, so that shouldn't be an issue. Ah, it looks like they're retreating. Yep. Okay, so all we gotta do is with their uh, melee units, which are the dangerous ones, because they are the ones that can actually uh, breach my walls. A helping hand. Note you could use some cash. Aww. Thank you. Alright, here they come. I'm confused. Ah! Alliance rejected! No, 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 no. You can't reject the alliance. I need it. Um. Have some wood. Have some more silk. Okay, oh thank god. I was I was almost worried they were gonna walk up on the mountains and just bypass my entire defensive line. Won't that have been hilarious? No, not really. Here we go. If they break through this defensive line, I'm boned. <gasps> no, I need this guy. Okay, we're fine. Wait, hold on. I know where they're planning to go. Ah, uh, I know where they're planning to go. Alright guys, let's uh, batch it up. <laughs> it's like they're just probing my defenses one after another. But not this time, not today, and no siree. Okay, we kill the last attacking forces, and then uh, we will be home free. We will be home free. <laughs> Man, imagine being enlisted into an army, and you're just being, uh, you know, you're running from wall into wall into wall. He's a goner. Wait, how do I have 11 crossbowmen? How do I have 11 crossbowmen? That's weird. They've been multiplying. We had weapons for 9 and now we have 11. 
Did they ever come back or... No, no, they're, they're actually going for this wall. Invasion Force 1 defeated. Price decrease for ceramics. Did I ever send an uh, alliance offer? I think I did, but uh, we'll see. Yeah, I don't like that everything currently uh, hinges on me. Being able to uh, successfully get an alliance with a guy. Invasion force defeated, here we go. Alright, let's... Uh, store those operations. Ooh, come on, don't devolve too hard. Uh oh. Um. No. No, 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 no. No. You gotta be kidding me. Don't do this to me. Please don't do this to me. Wait. Did, did he reject it? Acknowledges my gift and thanks me for my gift, but... What? Wait, 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 hold on, what? Whatever happened to my guy that was supposed to... Did I never send it? I thought I... I, I was 100% certain I sent the guy. Did he perhaps get killed? Well, I think that's it. Damn. Departure time is always exciting. I only hope to return. No, no. Uh, you know, in the end we were so close. In the end we were so close, but I don't think we're gonna make it. It's uh it's a real shame. It's a real shame. <laughs> uh, maybe. Who knows? Yeah. Long Young becomes an ally. <gasps> Wait, no, we still failed. We still failed. Come on. Oh, uh, you know what the worst part of all is? I was bragging the entire time about how the, our citizens won't be the issue here. Um, I, I still vividly remember a campaign that we did earlier, which happened to be, I guess, the same campaign where I said, civilians aren't going to be the issue. We're going to be fine. Just watch me. <laughs> and then it turned out that it wasn't going to be fine and we were screwed and I was very sad. So, that's funny to an extent. Well... Don't die on me, my friend. Thank you. I also forgot to actually do something very useful here and request an alliance. Okay, all the invasion forces are defeated and we are going to set up what I'd like to call... Now we have 12 people. Where the hell do they come from? I feel like every single time my crossbow guys are going to go into melee, they just multiply. Magically. Okay, no longer mend the towers. Um, time to build tent city over here. Uh, this is the Desperation 101. Look familiar? That's right, we've done this before. It's so sad. It's really sad I need to resort to this again. But hey, if it isn't this, then, you know, um, I'm just boned. Five months to get people in here. But yeah, so the real issue is just simply the devolution that happened. Like, if it wasn't for this little uh, bit of nasty devolution that uh, just triggered the cascading effect, I would have been fine. I wonder if I should have just basically bought beam curds. Can I still do that? I think he left. Yeah, he left. But that's something alternatively I can try and do.
Wait, am I buying weapons? Where do those weapons come from? You get, do you get weapons from defeated enemies? Anyways, it looks like we uh, filled this mission again, so... I just want to weep. I just want to weep. Just, just let me weep. <laughs> you just can't win. You just can't win. Uh, trade care from left already? Or is it still on its way? I think it might have left already. How do I keep doing this? I I don't even know anymore. Okay, trade care from stone its way. So obviously we do have bean curd, but we don't have game meat. So I'm gonna buy some game meat in the hopes to uh, keep appetizing foods. Um, I send out the guy to ask for a friendship offer request thingy magic for more friends. Yeah, as you can see, we don't have any weapons over here. And that does spawn weapons. Okay, so by the looks of it, um, killing an enemy actually spawns weapons. Curious. I actually never noticed that. Well, there we go. The more you know, apparently. Guys, nice, appetizing food is on its way. That actually worked like a charm. Uh, worked like a charm, people. People don't leave now. Wait, that's not appetizing food? What are you talking about? Get back here, guys. Oh no. Come on. Ah! Okay, there you go. I got it out of my system. That is really frustrating though. That is incredibly frustrating. I think I'm already too late with my alliance request. We might need to roll back another six months, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, it's not a real issue. I did notice that Tent City tends to help out quite a bit, so we'll set up a small Tent City and that should take care of that. The sooner the better. The sooner the better. Yeah, we'll set up a small little tent city. There you go. Okay. Uh, this should keep my population nice, happy and docile. Nothing to complain about. I'm just secretly hoping that a combination of... Me sending my... my, my... Oh, we lost somebody. Uh, I just hope a combination of me sending my guy, uh, my, my, my messenger quite early. Uh, together with these little houses is enough to uh, make us beat the game, beat this mission. I mean, to be fair, we're never going to return to this place ever again. It's just a fact. 
Come on. Did I never send the guy to request an alliance? That's bullshit. I know I did. I'm 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 losing it. I am legitimately just losing it. Request an alliance, right? Buy game meat. Appetizing food. That is so weird. Okay, if they have ordered and defeated, let's do this again. I did send the alliance request for real this time. If I didn't, then I'm going to scream and pull out my hairs. We might actually need to roll back uh, to roughly about two months earlier, or six months earlier, just to make sure that, you know, I can send that stuff out in time. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm having to redo this over and over and over and over and over. You might have guessed, and over. Okay, that's set up, that is set up. We go to industries, we enable our hemp farm, we enable our um, wood industry, then we go over here and turn that off. Okay. Uh huh. I can't keep these people in control, sadly. But with our little uh, village down here, it should offset uh, the need for people. You know, I am missing... I am missing... You all know it's better to that guy again. Proceed, I think... Me. Okay. Uh, I, mean, I am... I am so confused, what? Is it because I built this, it just despawns? That doesn't make any sense. Hmm... Curious. By the way, if I remove all of this, will we have met or or will we have uh, hit our population target? Sure as hell looks like it. Mm. I am losing it. I am literally going insane over here, guys. I, I don't know anymore. I don't know anymore. I don't know. I just just want this to be over. I feel like this is enough, more than enough to get it done. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. Chai Shen, the god of these buildings are as solid as Mount Taishan. There he is. Taishan force defeated. Okay, so he is on the move. He's still on the move. Then we go to industry. Normal raids. Uh, that's not great. I completely forgot about this guy. That's okay. There. He's now just unhappy. Uh, maybe that's, you know, maybe it's his fault. Maybe he just makes the, the guy disappears. No, this time the official is actually on the move. And now we actually do dip below the 1800 target. Oh, this game, it hates me. We did it! Finally! In your face! Your daring strategy has me successful. Gong Sun Kang, well done. The Bavarian Ridge could not stop your great resettlement. The challenge from the warlords of Kuang and Han Hanan remains. But the Jean Nu threat no longer exists. Prime Minister Kakao. Sends a military expedition into the Gobi Desert and defeated the Jean Nu in a great battle in 207 CE. However, Yon Zhou's sons, who had been hiding with the Jean Nu, eluded capture. And they have fled east to you. And asked for refuge from Kakao's wrath. What a diplomatic dilemma this is. Your 
report, uh, your scouts report that Kakao's army is not marching to Lo not towards Lo Lang in pursuit of the Yuans. Ah, now you understand. He seems to be offering you a peaceful solution, and you give the fatal orders. Your chief executioner is very skilled. When Kakao opens the gift you have sent him, he will have no trouble recognizing the severed heads as the Yuan brothers. Will this please him? You can only hope this diplomatic decision was the correct choice. There's a long war in Koguryo must end Gongsun Kong. You must claim your clan's vengeance on the Koguryo warlords Wang and Kon. Their cities of Hanan and Kwang must be conquered to do this. Prepare new housing for more immigrants. An increased population will provide you with more recruits for new military levies. However, be wary. The Kurjo warlords have raised new armies in the past years. They may have their own plans of conquest. You have ordered the construction of a large palace to hold court and entertain emissaries. A new palace will add to your stature and be an asset in your diplomacy. You have wisely decided to follow the diplomatic strategy of your father to make allies of the other Middle Kingdom warlords. This will ensure that any involvement they have in your conquest of Gurguryo will only come at your request. At last, news has come from Kakao. He's very pleased with your gift. Your diplomacy was masterful. Perhaps you are close to finding a new ally already. Ah, oh, shit, we're still with this piece of crap. Damn, I thought we were going to go back to Loyang. <laughs> shit. Alright, well, um, at least... I miss Lo Yang. Who am I kidding? I miss Lo Yang. Great place. Alright, well, um, yeah, so, objective. Population of 3200. 11... 11 allied cities, okay. Rule two cities and a large palace must be built. Uh... Ah, uh, damn. Okay. Wait, you need access to an acupuncturist, but it's right there. It was in this moment I realized where I fucked up. How did I never notice that? That's a circle breaker, if I ever saw one. Huh. Well, that's cool. Okay, so here we are again. Um, this time... No time limit. No time limit at all. Ah. Oh, that feels good. Okay, but yeah, we have no time limit, but we were on a pretty good roll. Let's see if we can keep it rolling. Um, we're gonna be selling wood, we're gonna be selling silk and ceramics. Uh, Ying Yang will love that about us. I don't see anybody else that I can really benefit from. They said 11 allies, by the way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Huh. And I got the rule over two cities. Oh, well, thank you. Appreciate the cash and flow. Cash injection. Yeah, so we have a large palace that we got to build. Um, there's probably opportunities for more industry that I can erect. Uh, ranging from, I guess, uh, creating carved jade. Oh my god, yes. But yeah, ranging from creating carved jade all the way down to uh, creating lacquerware, I suppose. Yeah, they need lacquerware. There's a few opportunities. There's a few opportunities for us to be had. I'd like to exploit them. Wow, I can actually sit back and just uh, enjoy the moment for a bit. Ah, <sighs> You know, if there's so many tense missions about, getting such a nice calm one is actually quite enjoyable. That being said, I've complained quite a bit about, you know, difficulty of certain missions. Um, I really do enjoy playing these. I do find myself coming back and saying like, hey, this is a fun challenge. I really hate myself. Let's do this. <laughs> yeah, I do find myself coming back and actually having fun here. Strangely enough, it might not sound like it, but that is definitely the case. Oh, 
Alrighty. Um, I do want to attempt to set up some salt farms. I actually feel really dumb. Um, no, no, no to salt farms. No to salt farms. Matter of fact, let's just replay this mission. The reason why I'm saying no to salt farms, these are very easy targets. They're not defended and they will definitely explode. Um, I want to start taking advantage of this upper area. So, a few things. A few things to mention. First of all, we're going to need elite housing, which obviously need to be built somewhere. This is a very nice place for elite housing if I can defend it. Uh. This is also a very nice place for elite housing if I can defend it. I can also build elite housing all the way up here. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, that's why it's going so slow at the moment. There, we'll let the game run for a bit. We need lacquerware. We have silk, but we can always use more silk. Uh, we need more food, obviously. Hemp. What else am I missing? Ceramics? Yeah, those five. Oh, um, I actually kind of got really curious about how to build elite housing. I'm actually quickly going to tap out of the game. And I decided to check out... Um, what is it called again? Emperor Heaven? And I actually took a look at... I actually took a look at, where is it, walkthrough, maybe, housing blocks, there you go. I actually took a look at how a elite housing block looks like, and boy, I have been building it in the worst way possible. Um, I find it very hard to believe myself how poorly I've done it. Um, but yeah, so apparently there is a super efficient way of building them. Um, at one point, I suppose I got close to it. Remember that, that mission where there was this walled section in the middle of the map and I want to turn that into elite housing? That's probably the closest I've ever gotten to it. Surprisingly enough. But yeah, so there is a way of actually building it and it's way better than the crap that I've been building to be fair. I kind of want to try it out. I kind of want to try it out and see how it feels and how it plays. Um... Now, elite housing is rather large. I think it's four, four squares in total, which means that you're going to end up with, like, lots and lots and lots of open spaces. Yeah, hmm. I don't know. I don't know if the top, top of the hill here is a good idea. By the way, is there any other entry points than the one that I mentioned before? Because I think this only has one entry point. Nope. Actually, it does only have one entry point. There he is. Also have access to a palace. Oh, we should build our large palace on this nice little plateau. That does sound very exciting. Yeah, um, I think I want to dedicate uh, my elite housing block down here, out in the open. And we'll build some walls around it and the likes. And I can't really start doing that until I actually have some cash available. And I need lots of cash. Remember, these things can burn through your money quite quickly. But I do kind of want to try and lay down some of the basic foundations. Yeah, so... Um, housing block is three, right? Uh, four, right? One, two, three, four. Yep, it is four. Uh, yep, yep. I'm trying to calculate this. How wide will it be? That is 4, 8... I really should just show this image. Don't think I can. I mean, I probably could, but... I think it will be a lot of hassle. 
But yeah, I, I knew that a circular approach would work so much better for elite housing as well, instead of the straight approach I usually do, where I just draw one big line and build elite housing on either side. Uh, I remember I used to do that a lot in Zeus as well, until I learned about the rectangular approach, and boy, that was a life changer. Basically allowed me to get twice the capacity of elite housing in a singular spot. That was good, that was very good. Also, I cannot just uh, sit around and not do anything, or unemployment is way too high. Yeah, or unemployment is way too high, okay. I wonder if I can actually do something better with the music school. There's lots of uh, little things I actually do wonder about. Huh? Huh? Ah, uh, ah, ha ha ha, there we go. So this is roughly about the largest I think I want these things to evolve into. Um, I can make it one bit larger, but we're lacking the tea for it, and I'm not planning to import tea. Um, more weapons. Yeah, so. Uh, yeah, what I'm looking for is basically I want to use this as a, a walled in section. So that's kind of that's kind of like the first plan here. Kind of want to build a city wall just like this, and this is basically going to keep my elite housing uh, protected. That's the plan, at least. Do you guys actually give up negative uh, desirability? Doesn't look like it. Okay, cool, 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 cool. cool. Uh, yeah, so we are actually going to build a vault in... Um, ooh, what about... You don't do it either, okay. Yeah, we're actually going to build a vault in uh, Elite Housing District. Oh boy, how exciting. Words I never thought I'd ever be saying. This is where the palace would go. Oh, Not that appealing, apparently. Oh no. Oh no, okay. Um, how about we move it a bit down? Right down here instead. How close until you don't like... Or... Okay, alright. I'm actually gonna put down a little road right on the corner. I think it was this corner. I actually wanna get this right for once. I kinda wanna sit back. And actually create something that doesn't look god awful. I know that, for me, that is incredibly difficult. And then eventually we'll have elite housing right over here, which means that... Uh... Then we'll get... Uh... Oh, not soldiers. Email? What about uh, scholar? Okay. Noble? <gasps> Perfect! Noble statues, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, but yeah, this is basically how we're gonna uh, kick this off. It's not gonna be perfect Feng Shui, and I'm okay with that. I mean, I think I'm okay with that. Ah! Haha, <laughs> look at that! Doesn't that look neat? I think it does. Okay, so this is going to be my palace, and my palace is kind of required if I want to actually build an additional crossbowman fort, which is exactly what I want to do. Well, no good Feng Shui for me, that's alright. Remember, the gods kind of hate my gut. Oh, shit. I have some of my wood. Okay. So, this is gonna be me scaffolding my um, elite housing. Uh, to the best of my abilities, that is. Best of my abilities. And for once, I'm actually just ripping it straight off a template. So, if this looks a bit pre made, uh, yeah, yeah, it 100% is. 
Oh, really? We use an entire temple for that? Well, that's quite surprising, matter of fact. Huh. I wonder, can I actually, um... There we go, more nobles. I have no shame in this. You might see a small pattern developing here. Just a very small pattern. Aha, haha. Uh, I, I get a certain amount of satisfaction out of this. <gasps> oh no! Satisfaction destroyed! Oh no! Uh, damn. That is 12. Oh no, <laughs> fuck me! Okay, 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 okay. This is 12, right? 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And then we have to turn it all the way up because it's supposed to be 19 in width. As you can see, I tried to create something nice and this is what happens. I just get slapped in my face for it. It's all gone. That right there is 1k and I just went poof. Screw Feng Shui. Nobody cares about Feng Shui. I don't care about my Feng Shui. One, two, three, four. Click. 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 Yeah, this is why I need a large cash reserve. And this probably also needs a roadblock. This is why I need a large cash reserve. So I can actually build with impunity. Unbelievable though, that is, uh, that's quite a bit of a shame. That is quite a bit of a shame. Very disappointed. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, this is where we're going to be building our elite housing. Um, I'll probably pedal in some food and stuff from these areas. Oh my god, look look at that. Whoa, Xinyan, 5k. Thank you, Cow Cow. Um, so, on the topic of elite housing, I guess it's a go go. Um, now, I, ideally speaking, I will first put the infrastructure in place, but. Um, I think I'm good without. Yeah, I need to. Uh, I need to figure out what I'm gonna do. So I kind of want to put a lot of my valuable industry all the way up to, uh, on top of this uh, this hill. I think that's pretty good. So let's start with that. Let's uh, let's get some silkworms. Actually, get some silkworms. And then we can get a lacquer up there as well. Alright. Let's say that we go for three silkworm sheds. We're gonna go for two by twos because we finally know that it is proven that that actually does work. Aha, I actually finally proved it. I really should learn how to build good Feng Shui. I keep saying it and I keep not doing it and I feel so bad about it. Okay, that is three silkworm. Okay, uh huh. Then we're gonna set up a little industry right over here. This industry should allow me to start converting it to. Oh boy. One, two, three. Okay, I think six. Six should suffice. I know the building needs access to a road. Don't worry about it. I got it covered. And then we're also going to get like three lacquer makers right down here. I'm already overbuilding, I just realized. Yay. 
That's not the only thing I just realized. Waste of money. Oof. I need to be very careful with that. I don't know why I just... Uh, was building in the dumbest way possible. <laughs> I don't know what I do, what I usually do. Yeah. Um, I don't want to remove too many trees. I'm going to be needing them. But this is very fertile ground that I also am going to desperately need. Let's... Uh, Let's slap down some lacquer refineries, or sorry, uh, lac yeah, lacquer refineries, wow. Weird name. You think about it. One, two, one, two. One, two, and one, two. There we go. And of course, we're also going to need trees and the likes, but let's take care of that. I'm going to follow the same principle as we did with um, with our mulberry farms. I think they run at maximum efficiency with 2x2s as well. A bit of a bold statement, but that's okay. Bold statements are supposed to be made. Because if I'm not making them, who is? <laughs> Nobody, that's right. And then we're gonna set up. Oh, oh, that's that's unfortunate. I actually thought. Uh, I actually thought. Yeah, that's the problem. I actually thought this would have been close enough near the rock, so we would have gotten good feng shui out of it. But uh, apparently, that's a no-no. I'm a bit disappointed about that, but well, this works as well. The opposite side, we should be fine. I actually take it back. Uh, we're gonna store 16 raw silk here. And 16 lacquer. I can always sell the lacquer for cash, that's another possibility. Okay. But that should take care of some of my unemployment. Bam. Like a charm. I wonder if I should have actually uh, scuffled these two down. Oh well. Alright. Uh, these things also, uh, those things also need wood, by the way. So I might as well just set up a few. Uh, I think two. Two logging sheds should be more than well, three. Three should be more than enough. You can always bump this up if need be. There you go. Ding ding, unemployment. Beautiful. Okay. So, that is the lacquer, and that is the silk. Then we need ceramics, which I'll probably build up here as well. I just realized that this is now incredibly hard to defend, because I did something really dumb here, but that's okay. I like doing dumb things, it makes me feel very smart. That's how dumb I am, ha ha ha. Uh. I'll take it. Yeah, I'll definitely take this. Okay. And this is where my ceramic will also kick in. And for three of those, I need six of these. Three. I'm, I'm looking at me designing this and I'm just crying. I'm crying on the inside. I am so sorry. This is, uh, ooh, this is, <laughs> this is very special. Made by a very special person, right? <laughs> That's okay. There's so many ways I could have done this a lot better. Like, I could have even uh, tried to exploit this area.
Can you help? Yep. Oh man, I could have done that like a million times better. Oh well, that is life. Enjoy, enjoy the horror, right? Enjoy the horror. In the name of Feng Shui. This is why Feng Shui is very dangerous in this game. It causes me to uh, design things in awful, awful ways. Uh, okay, uh, wage rate is very high. Um, this is going to be your defensive area. Not a lot of space. I can always re relocate this little friend of need be. Yep. Shouldn't be an issue. Okay. Getting my second set of crossbow people. That is blocked off. This is blocked off. This area is blocked off quite well, I must say. Uh, this is currently my weak spot, and that's the only way they can get to my top side. Then we're going to be building elite housing over here. That's going to need to be pretty well defended as well. And that's going to be interesting. And this up here is going to be where I'm going to be producing most of my stuff that I need for the elite housing. Uh, probably also including food farms. Also got to be aware that I don't cut down too many trees. Yep. Let's also produce food up here. Yeah, those trees are not going to survive, are they? <laughs> Outlook is pretty damn grim, to be fair. Uh, we finally came to the conclusion, or I finally came to the conclusion, after being proven uh, wrong in a horrendous way, that a hemp farm is more effective on a 3x3. That's what I should go for. I think one hemp farm as a 3x3 should suffice, to be fair. So we'll just set up a very simple hemp farm. Come on, pal. What are you even cutting? Stop it! Thank you. Technically speaking, I could make do with an additional hemp farm, but... Uh... I think it's overkill. We'll see. I mean, obviously, I will have the people available, right? That's two hemp farms. And then all I need to do is use this uh, piece of land for food. And I can do that by setting up uh, two farmhouses. Let's see if I can also preserve some of this... Uh, tree land, or whatever is left of it, that is. I need some soy, and I'm gonna need some cabbage. Uh, one, two, and three... Okay, I just fucked that up. Gotta love it when you're about to just click and then your uh, little your your arm your little arm has a spasm and you just embarrass yourself. That's what I do on a daily basis, apparently. Oh yeah, I'm kind of broke, aren't I? Uh, well, we're only halfway there. I could even throw in the towel and become one of their subjects just so they stop bothering me. Actually, it's pretty funny to think about. But yeah. Alright. Mend the towers. And when it comes to our industry. Let's turn off the lacquerware. The lacquer. Uh, the ceramics. I need, to f I need the silk to flow though. That's very important for me. How are we looking? Unemployment, beautiful. Uh, I guess the lacquer trees can work. And I guess even the lacquerware. Oh my god, that is that is a that's that's a large army. That's a, that's a rather large army. <laughs> I think we might actually have our gate destroyed here.
That is a lot of him, sire. Road to China blocked. Bullshit. I don't think my reinforcements is gonna arrive in time. Oh no. Oh no. And... I think I might need to rely on an autosave here. I think I might need to rely on an autosave here, yeah. Yep, yeah, definitely. 100%, 100% need to rely on an autosave here. Look at that. Damn! Ah, uh, that's embarrassing. Oh no! When was the last autosave? Oh, you gotta be kidding me, there was no autosave? Okay, yeah, there was. Ooh. Okay, well, um, very nasty autosave, but I'll deal with it. Yeah, so we gotta figure out a better way to defend our uh, places. The current solution wasn't too great. And it got me punched in my face pretty hard. Oh, that kind of got me punched in my face pretty damn hard. Also, I think I kind of want to take a different approach with the uh, kilns. I'd rather stick them against the back wall. I'd rather just stick them against the back wall, yeah. Oh, uh, you're not supposed to be down there. Back. I wonder if he's actually willing to walk a giant circle. And I wonder if the circle is not too giant. It'd be very unfortunate if the circle was actually too large. But yeah, we'll see. Uh, once all of this is set up and done, I probably should make a quick save to ensure that nothing bad happens in the near future. No, 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 no. Employees needed. I'm okay with that. Lacquerware. That's some easy mopu mopu. Hey, Gorbani, it's been a while. You'd be surprised how quote unquote easy this map will be. Yet I still get my ass kicked. On a uh, daily occurrence, apparently. Just got crushed into the ground by a bunch of dummy forces as well. Oh, God, gotta love this game, right? I gotta love this game. Hope you're doing fine, though. Uh. I use C block. No clue. It's been a decade, damn straight. That's that's the thing with old games, right? <laughs> that's the thing with old games. Uh yeah, I'm also gonna need like three logging shots. Done. And last but not least, I'm also gonna need at least two farms. Uh, there we go. Wait, one, two, and three. 
One, two, and three. Yay, I know how to count. Woohoo. Ah, look at that. Anyways, let's uh, get those soy fields. Yeah, let's uh, let's be a bit mindful about what I'm doing here. Uh, soy, cabbage. <laughs> Good for you, for I don't. Oh, somebody has to uh, take the bullet red. Sadly, I'm that person. And last but not least, we get some wheat. Boop. That doesn't feel very balanced out. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, let's quickly make a save here. Uh, because, you know, last time I kind of did bone stuff up. Uh, the fact that they could quite easily break through this entire defensive line worries me. Same thing, right? Uh, yeah, that attack is nasty. Very nasty. I might just want to say like, oh no, you got me beaten. I surrender because we're not on the time limit anymore. Got there, got to kick their asses regardless. Got to kick their asses regardless. Uh, any more people? I can have 500 more, 500 more people in my city. Hmm. It'll be fine. Let's also fix this. You know, before I forget again. We'll be fine, I'm sure of it. Once we get some elite housing on the go, we should be fine. Um, yeah, I'll surrender. There you go. The fact that they can easily break through this entire section of walls, um, that's, that's the part that highly concerns me. They should not be able to break through that that easily. I think one of the things I need to do is actually pull this gate back. Um, nice combat music. Won't be any combat though, not today. Well, I mean, obviously there will be. Gonna have to break free eventually. Ah, there we go. Anyways, um, that's a big house, big ass housing block. No, it's fine. It's perfectly balanced. This is this is exactly what you would expect from a housing block. Rectangular, functional house. Maybe I gotta import tea. That's another possibility. Ha! There's a joke in there. Related to tea. I need so more silk. Anybody who wants to buy some silk from me, raise your hand. Maybe the Zonzu, Zhonnu Empire wants to buy some silk. Ooh, I know who wants to buy some silk. A bunch of angry gods. Oh shit, they're angry. Not my precious silk. Uh. Okay, he's joyful. Uh. There's no, no teeing you can do about tea. Ah, uh, good attempt. A very good attempt. Ah, <laughs> oh, God. Mm. What was that? What was that? Ah, right, I remember. Uh, roll silk. Consider it done. G has uh, said hi to the world. I say, hi Z, how are you doing? Doing good. I am also being invaded again or attacked. I need to get some elite housing going. There is lots of little things I need to get going. Also, now we have a trade route with Hanan. Ah, uh, they just want some wheat. Nothing to worry about. Uh, they're willing to buy salt, millet, and ham. What a coward. Don't even want anything useful. 
I got cabbages. In case you uh, didn't see that coming. Uh, I am really concerned. Take some wood. Okay, so the cults are not going to chew my face off, which is quite nice. This thing doesn't even accept anything useful. Uh, let's make it at least accept some paper. Like, I think eight pieces of paper should suffice. Can I export paper? No. No, I cannot. I need to... Who? Long Yao the Mentoral Silk. I know, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Uh, I can't make the joke, I'm terrible. I can't have a uh, ridiculous accent. Yeah. Isn't the, the, the hero mechanic uh, engaging and exciting? Like, I like how there's usually three heroes that you continuously need to uh, rob. But then you have like 12 heroes who just don't give a crap. They're like, oh, whatever. That's cool, man. <laughs> Literally the worst. Yeah, it's not okay when you have to, and I feel like you always have to. Because if you don't pay attention for five seconds, they'll uh, spawn an earthquake on your city. They need lacquerware as well. I was kind of hoping for silk, but lacquerware works. Wang Di. So the advantage of Wang Di is that he's a military commander. He might be able to help us out defend the city. If I can actually find him. There he is. Make sure he keeps uh, people happy. Uh, I have... Let's see. I need five rolls silk and I only have two. Aren't you thinking of Caesar gods or Pharaoh gods? There is a difference. We're all the same. The four? There we go. <laughs> you never have problems, lucky you. I envy you. I've had problems the entire time, like, I, I, I will forget about them. Like, I will go on maximum speed to, like, get a money objective or population objective and then I forget to pay homage for 36 months and they spawn an earthquake or a flood or have my crops die out. Every single time. <laughs> uh, should have given them more tea, right? Okay. I'm quickly going to make a safety save. I will be making lots of safety saves. I know that I'm bound to screw up somewhere pretty hard. And we're going to be buying more food, or sorry, weapons, once uh, once I actually have an industry going. Just get boom powder. I am the boom powder, because uh, they usually make me explode. Oh, that's a terrible joke. Um... I fucking knew it. I knew it. I knew those jackasses were gonna attack right over there. God damn it. Where's the code at, anyways? Right here. Will be useful. Yeah, even with a uh, third line of defense, I don't think uh, we'll be surviving this for very long. I will need a better approach. Because you are a cute. I don't have a gun. Now I do. I, I feel I feel discriminated. Very disappointed. <gasps> Too close to the enemy is most likely the issue there. Uh, 
Uh, I am so worried about this. I can't overstate how worried I am about this uh, this flank right over here. I feel like this flank is the one that's gonna cause so many issues for me. And this won't be the first time. I think if I surrender, by the way, I lose the game, right? Probably. Uh, man the towers! Uh, get everybody to uh, pay maximum wages and I'm probably gonna turn off my lacquerware industry. Okay, that definitely didn't do the trick. Uh, ceramics? Bingo, that did. Look how many of them there are. Come on, where's my friend? Oh god, that will take him quite a while to actually get there. Notice how he's becoming uh, slightly unhappy? Yeah, bastard. Joyful. Yeah, there are so many of them. They're gonna break through uh, two of those gates. I need fat so. Also, if I can rebuild this gate, I need to give it at least one offset. So that, you know, the road doesn't get blocked instantaneously and these things uh, will keep functioning. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, he's right here. Are you fighting? I don't see him. Wait, where? Oh, there! Okay, he is fighting. This gate is gonna explode as well. Maybe? Also, these things still seem to be operational. Too bad you can't cheese it, like, in season with Glitter, yeah, the walkers, I know. Or just uh, 500 prefectures, right? Those tend to do the trick as well. Yeah, I think we got this. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, you guys can go home again. Thank you for stopping by. Yeah, so on the topic of what I just mentioned earlier, um... I would need... some space. No! Okay, well, that's fine. I dismissed him. Didn't mean to, but I did. Oops. Uh, he served his purpose. So we're gonna set up a gate right over here. I really wish that a uh, military view would also allow you to squash like that. I noticed that there is no wall. That is one thing I despise about this game. That is one thing I really do despise about this game. Um, it doesn't mind tearing down your walls the second that your road is blocked to China. It doesn't complain, it doesn't give you a warning. It's like, oh, let me just clear it out for you. And they just blow up like half your military installation. You're under attack, but we can't reach China. Oh, dear God, let me just blow up the Great Wall of China. <laughs> More like the Great Wall that goes towards China. Because it's filled with holes that all lead to China. Uh, the joke doesn't work. But yeah, I despise it. <laughs> well, I'm trying to get that. I despise it. Anywho, ahem. Oh, uh, maybe I should unman the towers and re enable my industries, right? There we go. New era has arrived. Yeah, it was a dirty job because you built it from dirt first. <laughs> oh, that is too true. That is that is too true. Oh man, that's good. Uh, unemployment high. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. We have some farms and the likes laying around. It is time for us to uh, start hooking this up with the mainland. Mainland being this area. 
Like, notice how it just tore through this wall. Just tore through the fucking wall. <laughs> Why? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Bastards. Okay, so how many things do I need? Um, okay, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, and three, and four. Okay. Wait. I say okay, but my brain says, well. I'm looking at this, I'm like, my brain just goes, huh? I don't get it. <laughs> this is, this is really embarrassing. Um, okay, that is four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. And then we turn down south right over here. I gotta do this one more time. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. And voila. Okay, so this is kind of the, the living block that I had in mind. Um, I am gonna have to make some creative changes. I'm gonna have to make some creative changes, oh boy. That is not words I want to be hearing right now. Hey, how about I just don't do this? <laughs> I wanted to create a nice housing block that was efficient, and my brain currently is looking at this and it's like, oh, I could switch this around and maybe turn this. Because basically, I can't get my marketplace over here. I just can't. I need it down here. Yeah, yeah I am. I should be focusing on the cabbages, right? Oh, yo, 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 yo. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, cabbage soldatos. Uh, very important people to have. Some additional noble statues over here. Then I need to get some roadblocks going. There we go. We block the roads. Beautiful. Okay, it's time to go off script. Like, I can't even go by script this easily, so we're already gonna have to go off script. We need a watchtower, obviously, and an inspector tower. That's where these two come in. Kading, there you go. Uh, we're probably gonna need some more noble sculptures. Peasants demand a raise. The nerve on these guys. Speaking about nerve, I'm kind of poor. Kind of poor. Rip. <laughs> uh, I'm just looking at my cash amounts and I'm just weeping on the inside. But yeah, so this is... Uh, this is kind of what it boils down to. This is kind of what it boils down to. I am only exporting to these people or that person. I'm not even exporting raw silk. Um, so I'm going to reach out to the person who actually wants lacquerware. Ooh, needs clay and ceramic and hemp. Ye might actually be a nice little uh, bonus. Uh, Chung Ong needs lacquerware.
Wait, I am not producing lacquerware? Oh, yeah, I am. Hmm. I feel like I actually would need some warehouses all the way up top here. But, uh, that sounds pretty dumb. I, I... Okay, ye, 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 ye. Listen, listen. I'm gonna give you some hemp. And you're gonna be grateful for the hemp. I think that was all my hemp, by the way. I could make do with an additional hemp farm. Just so I can reliably export the hemp. I don't know how many units he wants to buy, though. Hear ye, hear ye. You're about to get murdered, right? No, actually, I think we're fine with two. Lack of housing uh, prevents immigration. That is fine. I am gonna save the game again. Uh -huh. Because I know there is a murder force coming my way. Kong launches an invasion, price increase for wood. Well, thankfully for me, we're also selling wood now. I could alternatively also sell some lacquer. 12 pieces for 60 is still a pretty good deal. I can sell some millet. I'd rather keep the millet for food reasons. I'd rather sell my ceramic. I know that we're stockpiling a crap load of ceramics. Um, this is actually getting very squishy and tight at the moment. Ying Yang sells less meat. Oh. Well, that's zero. That's not less. That's no meat. Weirdos. And I want to cut right through here. I kind of need a shortcut. No, they just walk over the fields. Okay. Well, whatever floats your boat, pal. At least my wood will be delivered a bit quicker. How, like, 5 billion percent chance that they're gonna be attacking me? Um. 5 gazillion billion billion. Ch oh my god, hold on. Why are these walls gone? Why are those walls gone? Well, that would be very embarrassing. Okay, okay. <laughs> Defensive wise, we're still okay. Yi is grateful for the hemp. Then we're gonna establish a trade route with Yi. We're gonna be selling hemp, clay, and ceramics to these guys. Another floats your camel. Oh man. Yep. I wish more people would be willing to buy silk. I was ready to establish. <gasps> I know who wants. Ah, oh, you so should have known. Should have bloody known. They always attack the same spot like seven times over. They have no respect. No respect for me. I really need to uh, spread my military out a bit more. <laughs> yep. 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 Exalted, he'll join. He'll come to my city. That shouldn't be an issue. Uh, man the forts, go to industries, turn off both ceramics and the clay, and that should be uh, good enough, right? Nope. Uh, let's also drop the lacquerware again. Bingo. The game crashed. All right, that obviously was not good enough. I am kind of starting to think that. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> the game doesn't want me to win or survive. Wait, aren't I somebody's vessel already? Maybe I am somebody's vessel. Road to China has been blocked. Okay, this actually seems relatively... Wait a minute. Uh, damn it, they did it again! 
They, they, they just blow it up. They just blow it up for no reason whatsoever. I, I don't understand them. Why do they hate me so much? What did I ever do to them? Yeah, this... Oh God. I hate this game sometimes. I gotta figure out why it's yelling at me that the road to China is blocked. Um... I think I might actually want to set up a ferry, if possible. I can't even ferry from one side to another. Oh no. Um... Oh no. No, I'm actually very worried. It's just gonna keep tearing my walls down. Um, I'm not very excited about that uh, prospect. Still don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. I, I lack the necessary brain power. Why would they treat me like this? Road to China is blocked! What do you mean the road to China is... I will block your road to China. Why the fuck is there a piece of rubble there? I suspect foul play. Suspect very foul play. Okay. <laughs> Finally you noticed. Oh no. My coolness meter, it's depleted now. Road to China cleared. Yeah, you're welcome. No, no, not like that. I hate you guys so much! Ah. Wrecked! Wrecked! Game is wrecked! Well, at least they're going after my gate regardless, so that's kind of them. Oh, look at you. Wait, you guys are not on your way. What's... Uh, I... I give up. I give up. I... I, I surrender. I surrender. Road to China blocked my ass. This is such nonsense. I'm telling you, this is such nonsense. <laughs> uh, oh, we survived again. Uh, very surprising that we survived in the first place, but yeah. Road to China blocked, road to China blocked. Oh my god, I hate these people. I hate these people so damn much. Why? Are you sure it's not just you? Maybe. Maybe I've just gone completely insane. That might also be the problem. Just go and patrol. Go away. Go away. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Wang Di, the bandit. Alright game, you're gonna tear down my walls again. Please let me know beforehand. If I can yell at you in an orderly fashion. Instead of scream from the top of my lungs, Dear God, why? Why would you do this to me? It might sound like I'm sarcastic, but Dear God, why? Why would you do this to me? 
Please, make it stop. <laughs> just, just to be clear, alright? Just to be clear. There's no reason why the road should be blocked. At all. At all. The road is Clino. Clino Guccio. Insano, that's what I have gone. Haha. <laughs> Unemployment. So, where were we before, you know? I, uh, I was screaming at the game from the top of my lungs. I think we were in the phase where I was screaming from the top of my lungs. Hmm. Just, just, just keep staring down all of this wall. <laughs> like, I think the biggest joke here is that if you rotate the camera, you can notice there's a road right next to it. It's... <laughs> Why? Why do you hate my walls? What have they ever done to you? Uh, okay. Whoa. Why? They... I... I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> right, uh, we were building in the housing block, just, uh... Uh, oh god, and screen- oh my god, what the hell? That actually doesn't even look half bad. That looks actually pretty damn good. And I envy that, I wish I could build like that. It's that my cities uh, look like shitties. Oh my god, I love that highway. <laughs> I like that highway in between the housing blocks. That's neat, that is very neat. Alright, well guys, um... Uh, yeah, I guess, I guess we keep moving. Guess we keep moving. Okay, alright, come on. Ah! It actually fits? <gasps> it actually fits? Wait, no it doesn't. No it doesn't, because there is another problem. Oh come on. Can I can I build a ferry? No, no I can't. So I need to encase this area with a wall segment as well, and I kinda can't do that in this particular scenario. So yeah. If all of this would have been built one lower, just one freaking piece lower, we would have been fine. Is there any other way I can actually rectify this? Yeah, watch the flooding happen, I swear to god. If I get flooded, I will... I will... I will... I will drown. I will drown myself, there you go. Um... But no, in all seriousness. How about I take this one step further? How about I take this... Uh, <laughs> I want to see that, please no. I feel like I actually need to kind of like... Get incredibly creative here to make this work. Let me tell you, let me, let me spoil something for you. I'm not, I'm not creative. I'm anti-creative. I'm like... Uncreative, there you go. I'm so creative, I can't even find a good uh, comparison. Uh, but no. And we're gonna do a little bit of a flip over here. We're gonna be facing the southern path. What the hell is that? Uh, uh, yeah, we'll build a Confucianist Academy right over here. Woohoo. Anyways, I think the real joke here in this particular case is... Um, yeah. Like, it really just depends how it all is going to come together. That's kind of like the thing. And I've been very cautious on building, but I think it's fine. I mean, come on, it's not a matter of life or death. It's just, you know, it is what it is. 
It is what it is. But yeah, uh, that would have been the smart way of doing it. Huh. Oh, this is gonna be great. <laughs> um, okay. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yup, 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 yup. Something ain't right. And I think the thing that isn't right here is the fact that normally I'd expect elite housing down here. And it won't really match up anymore. I'm going so terribly off script at the moment, it's really hard to follow what the hell I'm even doing for myself. But, I'll make do, I'll make do. So, what do I need to make? What is H and A? I think H is herbalist and A is acupuncturist. You want me to send that elite housing block? Um, I'm looking at the guide, that's that's kind of what I'm using at the moment, because the ones that I usually make are really weird and I'm trying to use one that's circular. Um, but I'm having to go off script and I'm, I'm skeptical, I'm very skeptical about me doing this, but that's fine, that's fine. Um, I need a BD, what the fuck is a BD? A, da a Daoist temple? Wait. Ah, okay, that was Temple. Well, we'll see how it goes, we'll see how it goes. Who knows, maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll amaze myself. So a Temple down here. Alright, no, you know what? You know what? Let's just let's just roll with it. Let's just roll with it. You know, let's get those houses in there. Let's get those houses in there. Normally they're saying I need an administrative city over here, which is something I'm actually gonna do. I actually kinda want my administrative city over here. I think it also uh, provides appeal. Hence it's so interesting to actually have it here. Uh uh. Ah, my palace is one off. My palace is actually one off. Interesting. Curious, very curious. Okay, here we go. Uh, what the hell does N stand for? Ancestral Shrine, of course, because that's... That makes sense. Anyways, yeah, I'm just trying to slap in whatever I can. Uh, don't worry about it, we'll try to make it look as appealing as possible. But uh, yeah, as you can see, this is just me trying, desperately. What the... What the what? No, no, that makes sense. What the hell is a TC? I'm just reading, like, a chi park? <laughs> when is the last time I've ever built a chi park? Can I even build a chi park? I can build private gardens, uh, pond with bridge, natural pond. I can't even build a chi park. I this game. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I'm having a great time, by the way. Um. Uh, let's just go for a pond with bridge and we'll surround it by a few trees. Basically a private garden, right? But yeah, don't worry about it. We're gonna be fine. Um, we're gonna be just fine. You can use a normal park. Uh, really? I always thought they actually provided a bit more desirability compared to regular um, flora and fauna. I thought regular flora and fauna just was a bit weaker. Yeah, we will encase it in the wall. Um, <laughs> yeah, 
we're gonna be encasing it in a military wall, which literally doesn't do what it's supposed, uh, what what the regular wall does. But don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We'll be fine. I mean, if this doesn't work out, that's also fine. You know, I, I shouldn't just put all my money in saying, hey, this is gonna be perfect, and if it doesn't go perfect, then I made a big mistake. Ah, they do, but since the park can morph into a bigger, it felt the same. Ah, 100% agree. Feeling is half the experience, right? Uh, I guess we can actually offset one of the inspector towers right down here. Sorry, the watchtowers. And say what you want, but... Uh... <gasps> oh no! I've blasted through my entire budget! Something is coming together. Uh, we're on very high difficulty. That's uh, the question. If you're asking why I'm struggling so much building something this simple, yeah. I'm on very high difficulty myself. First of all, a G. Yeah, sure, take your ceramics. Wait, didn't G actually open up a trade route with us? Yes, they did. That's why the watchtower. Uh, ah. Wait, so you don't get very angry people in lower difficulties? Curious. At least, I think that is the case. In that case, who knows? I don't. I don't know much. Come on, guys. Time to sell some stuff. Or collect taxes. Whatever floats your boat. Please tell me what it is before, you know, this thing explodes. I think I might be in trouble. You can offset it with better food. Ah... Oh, there we go. Ooh. Started getting very worried there. Go, 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 go. Done. He sells less stone. That's okay. I don't need stone. A collapsed building. Red Market Square. That's fine. But yeah, we have an invasion that's heading our way. Um, Can't wait for it to completely crush me in my face. But yeah, so, elite housing. Um... That's where it's at, right? So, I can't build these yet. Because I need at least one level up over here. So, I'm supposed to be able to uh, squeeze in, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 elite housing. I think we can easily make that. I mean, you know, if I were to go for perfection, right? Look at an elite house over here, maybe down here as well. Uh, last time they actually attacked me from this direction multiple times, but yeah, since I probably can assume they're coming from this direction, I might as well send over one squad, just in case. Also, I might just want to keep Wang Dong over here uh, quite happy. There you go, he's exalted. You're right, I'm slacking. As I usually do. But yeah, I thought we were a vessel of one on, but apparently uh, they decided to attack me. I kicked their asses and now we're not a vessel. Yeah, I do need only one. You're 100% right. But then again, I only have crossbowmen, so I can't even send out a bunch of spearmen to pike them. So if they bring enough quantity, then uh, they'll still uh, do a bit of damage. I can just surrender. Yeah. Like, what's the worst that's going to happen? I'm not going to pay them, they're going to attack me. The game crashing. That's the worst that can happen. Okay, um... <laughs> I really just... 
Uh, yeah. You're not the only one roasting me at the moment. It's actually quite surprising the game is aggressively crushing like this. That is the second time. I hate this game, I hate this game, I hate this game. Oh my god, why? Why would you do this to me? Why would you do this to me? Like, why can't I have nice things? What do you mean? What? I'm okay. I... I don't know if the game is okay. The game seems to be having some real issues. The actual hell is happening. I'm trying to understand why does this pathfinding keep saying that uh, the paths are obstructed? Why does it keep saying that? Hmm. Huh. I'm actually curious if I can set up an alternative route to avoid this from happening. I kind of want to see the Pathfinder leading your housing block at this point. Oh god. This is, this is why this is a custom campaign mission. Because it's so damn difficult, right? Because the game comes around and just starts deleting all your stuff. And if you ask why, they're like, oh, the road to China is blocked. China is the other way. No, road to China. China. Ch Anyways, um, I'm setting up an alternative route in the hopes that it just simply path, path finds through there. Hopefully. This should be fine, alright? Not yet. Not quite there yet. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Beautiful. This path will never be used, but hopefully that will shut them up once and for all. And just the floating as cherry on the top, yeah. <laughs> oh, you gotta be fucking shitting me. You gotta be fucking. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. That's not fair. No, 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 no. Guys, I don't know anymore. I'm so upset. <laughs> oh, there is no winning, is there? There is no winning for poor old me. Like, it would be really great if I could set up a ferry service that goes from here to here, but that's too far away. Alright, tell me what the other roads are blocked from China. I think it's done, actually. I think it's done freaking out. Alright, let's uh, fill these things back up again. Yeah, I don't know why it gets so angry. I feel... I feel... actively sabotaged. 
That's okay. Like I said earlier, uh, when they invade me, all I will be doing right now is just simply saying, Okay, I surrender. I yield. And that will solve all my problems. Yep, that will solve all my problems. Is that custom from the game? I think this is still from the game, matter of fact. Which makes it really... Wow, I did not expect that. Which makes it really weird. Like, you'd expect at least the custom one from the game to be uh, somewhat stable. Well, what do I know? Ah, uh, yeah, let's finish this housing block. So, what I was thinking... What was I thinking? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. Ooh, let's get the Grand Market Square. It's just you. Oh no, not again. Why is it always me? Why am I always the problem? I don't get it. Okay, I think the most important part here is figuring out how many more elite housings I want to squeeze in here. Uh, so I was planning to remove one of these two... Uh, oh shit, okay. Well, I wasn't planning to remove the inspector tower. I can send you one bone breaking map that looks really cool. Um, I also grabbed a few custom maps of the... of the internet. I also grabbed some from Emperor Heaven that looks really cool but are also very difficult and... Uh, yeah, I know that I won't be able to beat them. I don't know if it's bone breaking. Well, I'm pretty sure it is. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, I don't have access to a feeder. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Wait, I don't have access to a feeder. Okay. Uh, change of plan, guys. I've been so nitpicky about how this is actually being built when in reality there is nothing for me to be uh, worried about. Yeah. Still, I think uh, I think some people do incredible work on there. Um, like some of the maps that are still customly being made, I've given quite a bit of praise about it because uh, I love this game. I think it's a pretty fun game, pretty enjoyable game, and people actually making custom campaigns just keeps it uh, kind of alive. You know, it still allows you to do things with it. So seeing people actively busy and actively making maps and campaigns is very neat. Very, very neat. That goes for uh, Caesar, that goes for Emperor, that goes for anything. Okay, uh-huh, uh-huh. We don't have access to a theater and that's fine. That is not fine, but that's okay. Sure, uh, we'll see how this plays out. Uh, for now, I would like to actually finish this red wall. Same over here, I would like to finish this red wall. I always squeeze in one additional red over here, there you go. And uh, it's time for me to start building a few other things as well, in particular um, granaries and stuff like that. I kind of want this to be encased in the wall as well, but uh, that's going to be a bit problematic. Let's not focus on that, let's just focus on building stuff. Just focus on building stuff. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, um, I'm going to need a granary. There you go. Granary ahoy. I'm going to need two warehouses. Actually, I'm probably going to need more like three warehouses. Ah, oh, that is such a disappointing path right there. Okay. Then I'm going to need a uh, acrobat school and I'm going to need a music school, which I can't fit anywhere because, you know... 
Landing is not my strong suit, obviously. That's why I can place him right down there. Okay, so one of these things is actually going to uh, receive both ceramics as before, together with, what was it? Ceramics and hemp. The magic wombo combo, same over here. We're going to take, not lacquerware, uh, lacquer. We're going to be taking 16 lacquerware and 16 silk. And over here we're going to be accepting bean curds, cabbage, game meat, millet and wheat. Ignore the game meat, I actually didn't mean to click that, but I did it anyways. Anyways, um, and of course we need a little inspector tower to make sure nothing explodes. Yeah, about that inspector tower, huh? The case of the explode explodes. Damn, I need to reconfigure that entire damn thing. Damn. Oh, that sucks. Ah, yeah, that is what it is. Now I can have an inspector tower over here together with a warehouse down here. Uh, yeah, this warehouse uh, is going to be accepting millets, wheat, a the pop. Uh, cabbages ate the pop and bean curds ate the pop and this should be my elite housing district and this should be enough to finance ourselves an army and let's not forget to tax them by the way tax office should be more than enough to uh, finance an army hopefully I guess um, I guess I'm also gonna need a little paper maker Yay! The floodgates are open. Whoop whoop. Notice by the way how he seems they all seem to be walking around, so obviously something is blocking uh the way out. I just don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. That is so weird. Oh, okay, I see. Thanks, game. You're the best. Fire in the city. I never rebuilt the... Ooh, yeah. Hmm. Mm hmm. Thank you, brain. You know, I... Uh, I'm starting to highly doubt myself right now. Really, I'm starting to highly doubt myself. Uh, yeah. Nope. Yes. Uh, music school, music school, music school. Music, music, music. I'm tempted to get rid of that. So I have some more space. I'm shaking my head in disapproval. Uh, I'm shaking my head in disapproval. Okay, well, it is what it is. Da 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 Yeah, just just casually carry on. Don't worry about me. Yep. Yep. Four four people. Wow. Okay, okay. I'm I'm just I'm just gonna pretend it never happened. Um Oh yeah, that's when the roads was still pretty F. Okay. Cool. 
<laughs> exactly that, yeah. Oh my god, that was before I did all of that. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm actually mentally losing it. I am mentally uh, collapsing. I am mentally collapsing. Holy crap. Let's get this done. Okay, acupuncturist. Okay, I need two statues. Dragon statues. Done and done. Uh, get rid of that thing. I am gonna need a tax office. I am gonna need a music school eventually. Figure that out here in a second. I need to curl, curl up in a ball and cry. It's also quite fun. I'm gonna squeeze this against the top. Oh no, no I'm not, okay. Hmm. That does kind of break my circular pattern, does it not? That's okay. Oh boy. What is a person to do here? Okay, that takes care of that. Um, I'm gonna need two more warehouses. Uh, let's take care of that. Instead of turning it into a circle, we turn it into a, uh, just, just a flat, squashed thingy-majig. And it will be magnificent. Hey look, it's magnificent. Now this is the part where I realize I'm probably like missing 12 different facilities that I wanted to set up. Ah, oh, come on, don't do this to me. Thank you. What else do I need here? Um, I'm going to be accepting bean curds, cabbages, millet. Bean curds, cabbages, millet and wheat. A the pop. I'm going to save by the way after we set this up. I can feel the life leaving my body by the way. Also I could have done this in hindsight with one warehouse. Now I feel really dumb. One warehouse, 8 hemp, 8 silk, 8 ceramics. And eight lacquerware. Boom. Done. <laughs> I don't even need a second one. Oh shit. There. Leave me alone. You can come back later and I'll kick your ass. And then we connect these two roads. Okay, and everything's on the move. Let's, uh, like I said, let's save the campaign. And we'll let everything just kind of tickle through. Trickle through. Trickle, trickle on the wall. Who has the shittiest city of them all? This guy. Oh, um, A. Let's make sure that people can actually move around. B. Let's make sure that we actually have, uh,. Yes. Oh god, it was an inside job all along. Who could have guessed? What did it just yell at me? What did it just yell at me? Yep, the anniversary. Uh. Yep. Wood, hemp, ceramic, silk, lacquerware. And another food store. <laughs> You're an inside joke. Oh no. And I don't want you accepting anything. Just, just empty this out. Well, Confucianist Academy. Paper. Right, right, right. Um. This, by the way, this setup is a hundred times better, uh, in my opinion. Let's get the paper maker. So the good news is, uh, we can now officially afford some form of a military. Which I guess I'm gonna continue building here. 
Maximum amount of fortune has been reached. Okay. Alright, another invasion is coming up. So, um... Yeah. Cool. Alright, here we go, infantry forts. Alright, I need three infantry forts. I need three additional crossbow forts. Out of credit? Oh yeah, right, depth anniversary. That's a thing. Um... I feel like I'm not selling enough silk. And apparently... People should be able to cross through these forts, right? Why are you guys having issues? Well, I assume they're having issues because I see this guy just backing up. As you can see, uh, they're actually walking all the way around, so I don't particularly understand what's happening here. Why are you not enjoying this? I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Yeah, I knew. I knew that the circle might have been too large. Damn. No, 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 no. I, I, I do not get why this is happening. Am I really that stupid? Uh, I think that question answers itself. Uh, okay, well, we'll see what the traders are planning on doing. Uh, you guys, get your asses in the center. Anon can go and screw itself. Get your ass is in the center. Also, we are no longer in depth. It's it's every small step that, that counts at the moment. Um, I'm going to be buying a bunch of weapons as well. Very important. I need to buy a bunch of weapons. And then we can actually start training a, a real army. Yeah, notice how we just went from... Uh, oh god, this is uh, this is gonna cause... Yikes. Okay, I'm gonna downscale. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We're gonna downscale this to 4. We're gonna downscale this to 4 as well. Um, we're gonna downscale that to 2. Those guys are fine, I suppose. Anything I want to dance go anywhere else? I think I might be producing a bit too much silk. Uh, question is, how are they planning to attack? Okay, so they're moving in this direction. As far as I know, that means they're going to be attacking down... Oh god, I really hope it's not here. I really should do something about this real quick. Just in case. You know, just in case they attack exactly where I don't want them to attack, which is the most probable place they're planning to attack. Basic logic one-on-one. -on -one. How these people tend to operate. They can ruin your day. The damn well will figure out how. And then ruin your day. 
Man, I am ooh, getting a bit tired here. Kind of hoping this won't happen, but uh, this mission has taken me like what six hours? Jeez, feels like six hours at least. Aha! Nice try there, game. Okay, so we have a double wall uh, safety net. Uh, could I by any chance get you to join me? No, no, I don't think I can. Capture an animal? Wait. You can capture an animal? No. Do not get distracted me. I know where she has to go. Yeah, I hope they're gonna attack this entire uh, setup. But they can also walk all the way around and attack this area. Or that. Oh god. Nope. Yeah, I see where they're heading. This is this is very interesting. Uh, guys, 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 please don't, please don't. I know, I know what they're doing. I know what they're doing. It's pissing me off. So there is something wrong between the first and the second gate. And I'm not particularly enjoyable, or I'm not particularly quite happy about it. So we're gonna be tearing that down. I thought I saw a piece of broken rubble down here, but apparently I'm just seeing things. Okay. Wait, where are you guys going? Oh no. Oh. Get your ass over here, my friend. I need it. This is gonna be nasty. Oh man, I'm gonna suffer a few casualties, but that's okay. Actually, that is not okay. Fall back. Yeah, this allows them to basically bypass an entire wall section or two. Uh huh. Wait, invasion force defeated, right? Nope, just chillin'. Labs building, an impressive compound. How did that... What? Why are you guys here? Oh my god, I hate... I hate these people. I hate them so much. This... Ooh, this game is uh, getting on my nerves right now. Why are you here? Well, let's mend those fucking towers then. Maybe I should have done that from the start. Instead of what I did before. Okay, okay, okay. Um. I. Obviously, obviously, I'm, I'm just mentally done. I'm mentally done and drained. <laughs> yeah, I'm mentally done and drained. There's no going back. Uh, what is wrong with me? Seriously though, what the hell is wrong with me? I'm getting too tired for this. I think that's the main issue I'm having. Uh, I, sh I should have seen this coming from miles away, and I didn't. And that, that's that's a, one of the many, many things that actually embarrassed the living crap out of me. What do you mean 250 uh, two workers needed? There you go, that's more like it, thank you. 
How did I miss the fact they were harassing these people? Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. Obviously now we won red, yeah, now we won't get the hell out of here. Unbelievable. Oh, well, speaking about unbelievable, oh, well, there goes all my impressive compounds. That's not very impressive. Uh, we can rebuild them, that's not an issue. <sighs> yeah, they did exactly the thing, that's, that's kind of why I wanted walls around my impressive uh, compounds. Because they did exactly the thing I didn't want them to do. And that is to target my impressive compounds and blow them all to hell. Oh, there's lots of things I didn't want them to do. Go on patrol. Well, once we actually successfully are buying lots and lots of weapons and building an army, we're gonna be fine. So it's just a matter of surviving, getting bullied by people. Anon called off an invasion, they felt bad for me. Once the time is right, I will reach out to everybody and I'll establish a bunch of good alliances. But for now, um, I'm pretty poor. Pretty sad and poor. Is there anything else I could sell? Well, let's first make sure that everything uh, kind of resumes operations again. I don't know why unemployment is through the roof. That doesn't make a lot of sense. Well, actually, it does make a lot of sense. I put, like, all of these things. I might actually want to start outsourcing... ...some of the more common things that I tend to use. Yeah, I might want to outsource some of the more common things, such as just buying food and the likes. So that we can free up some uh, spaces. This is, uh, this is rapidly uh, getting out of control. I just don't have enough people working for me. Hmm. Yeah, I might need to outsource. Of what would I outsource? I guess food. Maybe hemp even. But I won't be selling hemp in that case either. And I am kind of selling hemp at the moment. Uh, I could alternatively try to disable a few of these and see how, uh, how we tend to cope without. Same over here by the way. There you go. See how that goes. It's all about reducing the amount of workers needed. Uh, but yeah, the, the plan still remains the same. Um, build up an army. Once we have an army, fight back. Once we can fight back, we win. And it looks like our current limiting factor really just is weapons. I'm buying weapons from two sources. Right? Yes, two sources. So that's roughly about 24 weapons a year. And maybe, very maybe, I can get a few additional weapons from people. I know there are some more people who actually sell them like this guy. Uh, we'll, we'll throw him some... Um, from some hemp, there you go. Zinzen. Uh, that also allows me to establish more trade routes, but also alliances in the near future, which is quite important. Because I got the ally like 7,000 people. Yay, 7,000 people. Uh, Yi's respectful. Uh, these guys need weapons. They also need lacquerware. Uh, I probably want to trade with them and sell them some lacquerware. The more money I can produce, the better it will be for me. Okay, it looks like they're planning to attack from the south. So yeah, uh, time to get my ass handed to me again. Woohoo! I kind of am tempted to just build this, this stupid, ridiculous, nonsense maze. Better yet. Build a stupid, ridiculous wall that they have to go around. 
that should delay them. And then, you know, in turn, what they're gonna do is, um, this is so dumb. And they're just gonna bypass the entire wall. Gonna say, like, nah, I'm good. We're good. We'll see. Oh, you son of a bastard. Well, it kind of worked. Apparently, I got them to reorientate somewhere else. It's the small wins that count, right? Uh, secondary question, of course, is are they heading uh, to where I expect them to head? Down there. Oh, come on. We both know I'm selecting the unit. Get out of here. Shoo, be gone. There we go. See, it's not that difficult if you just, you know, listen to the clicks I make. Click, click, click. There we go. Okay. And then it turns out they're just gonna... Oh my god, look how large their army is. You know, I'm actually getting second thoughts. Nope, 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 nope. They're faking. They're faking. Son of a... I hate these people. Ah, look at that. You guys actually listened. Thank you. Yep. Oh god, I hate these guys. I think we're... I just think we're very dead. Um... I just think we're very dead. Oh yeah, they're here. They're here. They're here. Haha. <laughs> uh, you're just gonna destroy all my uh, stuff that I just built, aren't you? Probably. I wonder if I should mend the towers. Uh, it'll be very useful to mend the towers, I'll admit. Ah, it doesn't matter. So many crossbows. Where's my, uh, there they are. Come on. Guys? Wait, where are they going? Get back here. What? Cowards! Obviously I just won, I just crushed your army. Get out of here. Shoot. Invasion force defeated. Fantastic. Hey, see, we did it. Uh, full, full frontal attack. I mean, obviously that cost me a bunch of weapons, but that's, that's why I'm getting more weapons. A respectful open trade. You want canisters of salt, I don't have it. Okay, you don't even produce weapons. You need weapons. Never, never said hi to Chengdu, apparently. Um, have some cash. Hmm. Gonna have to put both of them in their place eventually. That's kind of what we're building up to, right? Putting them in their place. Um, I can also import some steel. How many people are actually uh, generating steel? The more weapons I produce on a yearly basis, the better it will be for me. 12 steel. That's all I can get. 12 whole steel. Well, that's pretty disappointing. I mean, it's better than nothing, but... I think we're actually uh, pretty fine, all things considered. Anon is not happy with me. Uh, 
I need you to go and get weapons. Where are you? There. Same over here, same dealio. Get me weapons. And get me 16 pieces of wood. We'll be fine, you know, we'll be fine. We just gotta tough it out. You know, we just gotta tough it out. I'm building up a small army. Um, we still have lots of defense in place. We are not losing cash, so that does mean a lot to me. Uh, I have room for way more soldiers, so this isn't even the sheer limit. This is only the beginning. <laughs> Though I do have a lot of uh, worker issues. I don't even know if I can import tea. Uh, as far as I remember, I did not see tea anywhere, so I'm gonna assume the answer is no. Okay... What the actual fuck is happening right now? That... Wow, four attacks? Somebody really wants me dead. Um, I'm actually legitimately worried right now. Oh no. Oh no, that's a sea trade route. That is... Shitty. So, two of them are attacking up top. One is of them is attacking from down here. One of them is attacking from over here. Um... This is the part where you can hear me make a very loud and big gulp. Um... I need those two over there. I need him down here. I need one of these up here. I, I actually feel, militarily speaking, a bit drained. I think that's the professional term here. Beaten up. Beaten into a pulp. Hey, notice how uh, the game has decided to remove all of these walls without informing me about it. That's cool. That's that's terrifying. Like, that's just gonna get me eventually. There we go. I don't know why you can't just enable this default for the military uh, overview as well. Uh, go. Go. Or row through. I need a city gate. Okay, this is just me desperately trying to set up some uh, form of defense because I'm actually very worried about what's going to happen down here. I'll block this off so they can't actually uh, mess around with that. I'd be very concerned they could actually do some real damage. Um, we're gonna set up one more tower, and uh, I guess we'll use two lines of defenses. I know that employees are needed. Yeah, this is this is the real large army. And they are simply bypassing this. Uh -huh. Funny. Very funny. There we go. The wall's back. But this might also cause some real issues for me. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's gonna that's gonna cause some real issues for me. One, two. There you go. Road to China has been cleared. Oh, poor palace. Poor palace, poor palace, poor palace. There's two areas I really want to defend. Uh, up here. And down here. Once those areas are secured, I'll deal with the last uh, group of enemies, which seems to be awfully close right down here. Uh, actually, I take it back. Do not tell me, you motherfucking! I hate this game. Oh, guess what? 
So it turns out there is this little neat gap I wasn't aware of. Oh, that's cool. How, how do they keep getting away with this? How do they keep getting away with this? I, I don't I don't know. Why are you here? Why 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 are you here? Yeah, them removing at every instance they kept my walls really really has been a uh, painful painful development. I'm actually getting a bit worried about the northern section. Anon seeks to destroy me. Okay, are you fucking bullshitting me? You're attacking me with two attack parties and now you want to attack me again? Get out of here. Fire in the city in the warehouse. Uh, no. Uh, I see why. Okay, so I'm gonna need it. I'm having a great time, I don't know guys. I'm having a fantastic time. Oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah, so they kind of broke through the section. Um, yeah, that's bullshit. Okay, well, um, all, all I have left to tell them is to go fuck themselves. <laughs> yeah, that's that's ridiculous. Like, this would not have happened if they didn't remove my walls every single instance they got. Also, their attack party should have been crushed by now, so... I, I don't know what the hell they're doing here, so... I, I, I hear fighting, I just don't see it. Like, what do you mean this is the next attack wave? What? what, what? I take it back. This 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 game is impossible. This would not have been an issue if my walls didn't wear. <sighs> so angry, can't even talk anymore. Okay, I stand corrected. My army is not even sufficiently uh, good enough to survive half the onslaughts that they're throwing at me. Um, and now I'm really scared. There, I said it. Now I'm really scared. Yeah. Uh. So apparently. The AI just turns fucking moronic. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'm pissed. They, they, they don't understand how to walk through a gate. I don't understand why. What? You never went walking through gate school? That's not my problem. You fucking deal with it. <laughs> okay. 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 I I don't I don't understand. I don't understand why and I don't want to find out and I just don't give two fucks anymore. The game has worn me down, so they did it. They've done a fantastic job. I am completely worn down now. Yay. Can't believe it. Okay. I'm, I'm really worn down. Um, I think the main issue that I'm just experiencing at this point is... You know, I, I try to play it defensively and every single time I try to set these things up. Uh, it will destroy my walls. I can't figure out why it's happening. Um, it's tearing through everything. I have a really, really desperate need for jobs, which I don't particularly care. I tried to build an elite housing district that is suffering from just random explosions. And there is wall segments literally missing everywhere. And that is killing me. That is legitimately killing me. Uh, this, is, this is what tiredness plus worn outness looks like right here. Okay. It's like they don't actually want to walk through this gate, and I don't understand why. Okay, two of them are attacking up. Three of them are attacking up. Um, you gotta be kidding me, right? 
all of them are attacking from the top side, it's... I... I'm tired. I am so tired. Well, I mean, if they want to attack from this side, be my guest. I'll just build a few additional defenses. You know what they say, if you can't beat them, shoot them down with 5 billion towers. They like this as a tower defense game. Simple as. Just play like it's a tower defense game. Yeah, this will work, don't worry about it. I mean, I for once had a little bit of cash to spend, so I might as well spend it, right? This will teach them. This will teach them not to mess with me. I The thing that I really liked about the previous map we played on, it had incredible choke points that you could really just exploit very well. This map still has those choke points, or some choke points, they're just not as exploity handy to have. They're more kind of like, eh, they're okay. No, they're not fantastic, they're not great either. Okay. Let's... Let's die. Let's die. Yeah, they're all attacking from the same angle as well. If I can wear down the first. Oh my yeah, okay, we're done. Look at that. Look at that. Look how many there are, Shire. That is so many of them. There's so fucking many of them. That is insane. There's a, there's a lot of them, sire. There's a lot of them. Okay, bye bye. Lots of cash reserve. I think I might have just gotten too arrogant and too cocky for my breaches. This is the end result. Get demolished. Like, all of these towers are not gonna keep me safe. Look at that. I believe people will commonly just say, uh, you're kind of bones. That is at least how I feel right now. Here they come. So many of them. Should not have uh, pissed them off. Should not have pissed them off like this. At least I went out in the blaze of glory, right? Yeah, look how many there are. That is insane. Again, it won't be too bad uh, defending this choke point if the game didn't tore down like five times of my gates and just magically made them not work. Uh, just classic game, right?
I'm actually... No, I know why. Yeah. That's okay. Classic. There's still so many at the gates. So many. And then Hanon just attacks me again. Like this, this, this is dumb. Like... Look at that. Just look at that. I, I don't think... I don't think I'd be able to survive this, no matter what I try. Like, it's really ridiculous that they attack me with 5,000 units. Going out in the glaze of glory. Uh, bla bla blaze of glory, there you go. Well, there you have it. Keep in mind, we only defeated one invasion force. And now they're also attacking me down here because you know that it's fair and well balanced. And I'm getting attacked again. Yeah. Pretty shitty and dumb game. Stupid. <laughs> no, that's that's just that's that was really despicable. This is still really despicable. There's just way too many of them. What would you even do? One would say, well, you build gates, and you build defenses, and you get units, but the game will just tear down my gates, so... Yeah. <laughs> I'm... 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 I'm mentally done. I don't know. Maybe I'll feel re-energized to play this another day, but... This, this is not fun. This is not fun, just throwing 500 units at you, expecting you to kill them in 5 minutes, and then just redo that over and over and over. Maybe alternatively, I can also try to attack them, do a sneak attack, but... Yeah, I don't see how we will win this. Maybe the problem is just I didn't have enough military units. Yeah, see? It, it removed my walls again. Okay, I don't know. Fuck this game. Um, Maybe another time. Not tonight. I'm gonna go to bed. That's it. I'm done. Stupid mission. I'll just have to, uh... I'll have to think about what's the best way to do this. I'm sure there's a few mistakes I made, but that's for next time. I'm out. I'm gonna sleep. Thanks. Thanks for sticking through my pain. <laughs> I'm gonna cry myself to sleep now.